I don't know what's why it's All right, here we go. When we are live here from Bogus Serum. Sorry about that. A little bit of audio issues going on. But we are starting the game. Just start with a kickoff and flag on the field already, Joe. Hannah Eagles coming in to take on the South Hawks here at Bogus Stadium this beautiful Friday night. A little bit hot and muggy outside still, but <laughs> hey, still got football going on. Hey, it is a little muggy outside. It's uh, uh, hopefully cool down here in, in a few. Uh, shades coming through Bogus Stadium. So, But here we go. We got a, a tale of uh, the Brownsville Hannah Eagles coming in at 1-1. One and one. Hawks right now coming in at 0-2. So let's see if South can come back, Aaron, and uh, hopefully pick up a win today. Yeah, South definitely <coughs> off to a rough start this season, right? A lot of people were projecting them to kind of run through pre-district and then into district, but of course Bird Bowl here a couple of weeks ago dropped that one. Went over to Wesco last Thursday evening and, and uh, lost that pretty decisively Wesco with a win. And uh, definitely coming back here in their home turf and hoping to take care of business against the Hannah Eagles. But Hannah uh, coming in 1-1. One one. I was reading something this week and uh, a couple of people predicting Hannah to come out with a win this evening. So if you're an Eagle fan, uh, thanks for joining us on this broadcast, and we are excited. Eagles have received the kickoff. They do have the ball, but the penalty is going to be against Hannah, and so they'll start off around the 11-yard line. Yeah, that's not a good way to start, Aaron. Uh, starting way deep in your own territory. But uh, we get to see the Hannah Eagles here for uh, uh, here against the Harlington South Hawks, and uh, here we go. All right. South Hawks. Dylan Anaya, the quarterback, eight, number eight. No, I'm sorry, a different quarterback. I'm going to get your number here, 17, out to number 12. That is Yari Cabrera. Yeah, that was, I uh, believe... I'm sorry, I'm, I'm looking at Harlan's roster. Yeah. We're starting off with Hannah first. <laughs> I, I think it was number 11. I think it was uh, James Martinez. They have him down as a receiver, but it looks like he was actually the one that was throwing the ball. Um, we don't have a roster, so we're kind of going through our phones here. Yeah. So uh, bear with us there, Hannah fans. We will get it all worked out for you. That was number 17, Ramiro Ruiz the third quarterback sophomore, shows here in the roster. Uh, number 12, who caught that ball, Carlos Vasquez. He's kind of limping out to the sideline. They're going to call an injury timeout. Yeah, it's already after the first play. It might look like a hammy or something, or maybe a, hopefully it's just a cramp. We'll get it. We'll get it going here. <clears throat> And we're back. Number 17, Ramir Ruiz, the third quarterback. 
Uh, pistol formation sends that man in motion. And he's going to hand this one off. Nice run here by the running back number two. That's Christian Espinosa. And uh, he'll gain about five yards on the game. Yeah, it was a nice gain around the left-hand side, Aaron, and uh, trying to get to something going, get a nice gain of about five yards. It's going to be a, you know, a little bit more manageable third down. They kind of want to try to pick up that first down so they don't have to punt uh, pretty deep and give South a uh, really good field position. So see how it comes out and see what kind of play they go. South Hawk defense uh, coming out here. And a lot of experience here on this side of the ball. They have a couple of veteran leaders here, uh, more so than on the offense. And so the Hawks are like returning a team this year, last year playoffs, and it's trying to get going here. Handoff and a quick tackle there. It's a fourth down for the Hannah Eagles. Yeah, that's going to bring up the middle. And it went up the middle and got a couple yards. So that's hopefully going to bring in the punting unit. Uh, South Hawks should get some good field position. Um, trying to see what the wind is, Eric. When I'm looking across, the flags are they're kind of blowing in different right. directions here. So uh, don't know. We got a southern, eastern, southeast. But here we go with the punt. The heat has definitely not dissipated here uh, in, in Harlingen, Texas. And here's the punt. He's going to be up high in the air, so that wind will affect it, pushing it out towards the sideline here. Cross the midfield marker, though. Returner is going to track this one down. That's Luis Orozco. He's going to try to make something happen here. Gains about five yards and tackled out of bounds. Yeah, he let the bounce. Uh, they, it, it, it was a good punt with a good bounce, and uh, Orozco, with number one, for Arlington South, kind of let it uh, hit the ground, and it took a really good bounce. Uh, I was able to pick it up and try to get some of those yardage back. So starts gonna, uh, the South Hawks are going to start right around the 35-yard line. Some good, decent field position. So uh, see what we get here. Uh, right now the offense is coming into the game, kind of you know trying to find their way, try maybe you know coming back from, a, I believe, a, a, a hard loss. I think they didn't score any last week. I think it was a special teams touchdown. So trying to get their things going and see if they can come up here with Hannah. Definitely a player to watch for the South Hawks. Number 14, Alvin Edwards, using the running back spot, but they're going to put him out wide this time. Here comes across number nine. That's David Sanchez. And Sanchez gains about five yards on the receiver turn running back handoff there. Yeah, that's usually a good play because when you get the ball sometimes, you already have a little bit of momentum. And if you can find that little crease, and uh, that was a good five-yard gain, so it's going to bring about second and five. South Hawks quick to the line of scrimmage now. I want to try to get momentum here early in this game. And Dylan Naya, the junior quarterback, came out, got the start last year as a sophomore, uh, young out there, and, and definitely making his way and coming back with more experiences. Your hand off to number nine, close to the first time marker, won't make it. Yeah, he's going to be about a yard shy, but a good power run right off the middle, good uh, on the offensive line for the, for the South Hawks, able to get a good push and make it a pretty manageable, Aaron, for a third and one. All right. Dylan Naya doing a great job. Looks very in control of that offense. He's talking to his linemen there, uh, making sure they have the count. He's going to keep this one. Just needs a little bit. Does have it for first down Hawks and a lot more. Look at him push that pile. Yeah. He, he called his own number on that, Aaron. Kept running. It looked like he was going to be about two, three-yard gain. And ended up turning about a good 10 to 12-yard gain. So good job by Anaya uh, to get the first down and get him in in pretty decent territory at the 45-yard line of the Hannah Eagles. All right, thanks for joining us again, Real Sports Live. And uh, sorry about that kind of rough beginning, but we've got it going on here. First down and 10 for the South Hawks. First possession for them. Toss it out to number Jacob Gano. Gano will be hit in the backfield. Nice stop by number five of the Hannah Eagles. Yeah, that was a quick stop. Actually, that was, a, that was about a good two, three-yard loss. Uh, number five of the Hannah Eagles read that perfectly and was able to get to him really fast and, and stop Gano for about a two, three-yard loss. Matthew Villegas on the tackle in the backfield. Second down and 13. For the South Hawks, under eight minutes to go here in the first quarter. We're just getting started here at Bogus Stadium in Harlingen, Texas. And nice to see the Hannah Eagles visiting in the all-white there before us. Green and white for the South Hawks. Here we go. Dylan and I on shotgun formation. And uh, he does have a running back with him this time. First time they go with a running back. And it is going to be number nine, Sanchez, left-hand side. He's breaking this one, 20. Will he beat the one-man touchdown, Hawks? Wow, what a good run. It looked like it almost went untouched there, Aaron. The hole opened up pretty good. Good job by the offensive line to open up that hole. And from there on, it was just Sanchez all the way. Uh, nobody was able to catch him. Uh, good for six. 
uh, getting south and motivation, getting them going here against the Hannah Eagles. So great job. Great run by David Sanchez, number nine for the South Hawks. If you're wondering what that <coughs> is, that is called the swinging gate, folks. There you'll see kind of all the players in the line of scrimmage lined up to the left-hand side. So Dylan and I, number 11, he has an option here. If he feels like he has a good matchup, he can snap it, right, and he, or have it snapped to him. And Dylan Edwards is going in motion, and he can actually run it in himself. He likes the matchup, and he doesn't get it. Great defensive play there by Hannah, number 42 in the tackle. And uh, he stops that swinging gate play. That's Peter Ochoa. Peter Ochoa with a great stop. And it looked like Edwards kind of missed his block there. Uh, uh, yeah, I think he overran it, not on purpose. So he just kind of overran Ochoa, and Ochoa was, was able to make the stop. Uh, Harlingen went for uh, two points and I keep forgetting about them commercials. <laughs> we'll be right for commercial break. Be right back, folks. Yeah. And we're back here. South Hawks getting on the board first with six points. Did not convert that swinging gate two-point conversion. And so now the Brownsville Hannah Eagles will have an opportunity uh, to strike back. Hannah goes first drive. Joe did, couldn't really get anything going. Couldn't get nothing going. Uh, got a couple of good runs, and then kind of the defense of Harlington South uh, was able to shut them down and uh, and got good field position and uh, made them you know made them punt the ball. Now Hannah's going to go with the, you know this is their second time. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to try to hopefully you know try to open up some things and get some points on the board here. All right, here you go, Hannah Eagles. And I believe we have number 17 still a quarterback. That's going to be Ramiro Ruiz. He's a sophomore here in our roster. And so a uh, young man there playing that quarterback position for Hannah. Man in motion. And there's going to be a flag on the field. And then it's going to go against the offense. Yeah, it's not going to be a good start. You don't want to ever want to start first and 15. I believe it was probably a false start or something if it's a dead ball foul. But uh, nonetheless, it's going to give a, uh, Hannah a little bit further to go right now. Uh, trying to get things going on, Aaron. And at this moment right now, it, you know, it, it, these crucial uh, penalties do make a difference. Yeah, so the Hannah Eagles are going to have both starts, right? Both starts for both of their drives here this evening start with a penalty. And so, you know, that's, yeah. that's not kind of, you know, kind of taking a step backwards before you go forwards. And so here again, they'll have first and 15 to start off this drive with 729 remaining in the first quarter down 6-0. And that's just thrown a little bit too high there, incomplete to number 15, Mario Garcia. Yeah, it was a little bit. He was running onto the left-hand side. Uh, just overshot him a little bit. But if he would have caught it, he had a little bit of momentum going. Uh, it would have gained a couple yards. Hannah trying to get in sync also, trying to get a rhythm going here early. You know, really hasn't – I think they ran the ball once in that first drive. were pretty successful, by the way. I think they had about five yards or so. And, uh, you know, interesting to see if they're going to go back to that run. Run opens up the pass, right? Uh, and so the pass game is just not set up just yet. It looks a little bit rushed. And so let's see if they kind of settle down here. Pistol formation, that means the running back is behind the quarterback averse to the shotgun. And he's looking for a quick screen and just overthrows the receiver again. Yeah. Uh, he overthrows uh, jo uh, Joseph Ruiz, number one. Uh, even if you would have kind of struck it out outside the, the South defenders, uh, number 25 and number three, uh, Mikey Gonzalez, we're all over it and uh, we're able to uh, – uh, would have gotten there pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. So, again, we now we have a second and long. We have a second and 15, Aaron, and uh, they're trying to open up things, but uh, so far they're just not connecting with the receivers. All right, here we go. Third down and 15. Have not been able to move the ball here since the start of the drive. Penalty got them started and uh, really have not been able to have any forward movement just yet. This time he does connect with number one, Joseph Ruiz, but it is just a really short game. They're going to count him in bounds. Yeah, I think he had about one or two yards. That was a good job, good coverage by number seven, uh, Jude Garcia from the South Hawks. And I think he was able to only get about two yards. So, Aaron, again, mm -hmm. they're going to punt the ball. 
Uh, and uh, again, South maybe get the ball in good field position. And uh, so far, their uh, their offensive running game is uh, looks unstoppable at this point. And de definitely number nine, David Sanchez, came out strong in that first attempt. South's going to go with two uh, deep back to receive this punt, Joe. And so that means they're not going to really send too many to block it. And they want to try to get max yards. Oh, it's going to be Mutt, but he picks it up on the run. It's Luis Orozco, and he gets way down almost the original line of scrimmage. Yeah, he almost got there to the original line of scrimmage. He got to about the 27-yard line. So that Aaron is going to give South really good field position. But we have a marker mm -hmm. on the field. Let's see what happens. Outstanding job there. Scary job by Luis Orozco <laughs> as he dropped it, picked it up on the run. Blindside against South Hawks. Uh, that's going to have excellent field position, right? And so uh, it really is like a short punt now ending up. But South defense doing the job, Joe, here early in this ballgame. So, and you know, Aaron, going back to what Luis Orozco, when he fought me, a lot of times when you drop the ball, you just don't get him in that favor. You know, it, it, he just had a really good bounce, mm -hmm. and it just kept going, and he was able to still continue to run. So uh, it, was a, it was a favorable bounce. So uh, good job there. I know tomorrow in the film room they're going to say, hey, you know, don't even drop it. You don't put yourself in that position. Yeah. Make sure you have that sure catch. You wanted to run before you caught it, um, but definitely got some good yards. So first and 10 now, 634 remaining in the first quarter. They're inside Hannah Eagle territory. And number eight, that's Anaya will keep it. Not much there. Yeah, not much there. He probably just got to the uh, line of scrimmage. Uh, good job of the, the Eagle defense to get there and uh, get uh, no gain out of it. So he called his own number, Aaron, and uh, wasn't able to get something going. But it looks like they're sticking with the run, though. That's for sure. Yeah, and I had, I, you know, had to have an off-season um, spring training, obviously off-season seven-on-seven with his team. Uh, and so, you know, people were expecting him to come out this year and be more connected with those receiving targets. Uh, last year kind of got thrust in there as a sophomore. Uh, and so now we're going to get to see that development here in Harlingen. There's Sanchez, and he's just uh, kind of been the go-to so far. And he gains about four yards on the swing pass. Yeah, it was a little, good, little swing pass to the right-hand side and threw it as Sanchez was running, uh, running really good, able to get about four yards and uh, getting a good, still a, little, a long a long third down, Aaron. And here we go. We're, we're, they're going with the no huddle, maybe trying to catch uh, the Hannah Eagles uh, off guard here. Curious to see why Alvin Edwards, number 14, hasn't been more involved. I actually don't see him anywhere in the side. Oh, here he is at the end. He had the long run call back in Bird Bowl and definitely an explosive player. He's being sat out for some reason. That ball sells way high in fourth down coming up. Yeah, it's going to be that was intended for Jacob Connor, number 11. Yeah, it was a throw in. I, I didn't know if he was trying to go for number 28 or, or number 11, but it, it, either or, it, it, uh, uh, it looks like South is going to go ahead and punt the ball here at the 40 yard line. I thought maybe they would try to go for it here. It's kind of a, you know, the defense is playing well right now. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I mean, the defense. Uh, has has not allowed any yards practically in the first two drives, and so at this point you may say, "Hey, get out there and keep it here," and uh, we'll kind of be right back to where with a punt return. But either way, you know, uh, South's going to go out there punt unit and look at Hannah. They're not going to send anybody to the back, and they're suspecting that there's something up, and uh, because of that, South will have a chance to get down there and, and down the football. Good bounce. Inside the five-yard line, what a beautiful punt that is. And I think it's going to be down right around the three, Joe. Yep. Yeah, it's going to be down about the th three-yard line. Uh, good job. We'll be right back after this commercial. And so we're questioning, obviously, the decision right of coach to punt that. But now, do you second guess that decision? No, not at all. Not when you get it inside <laughs> well, the five. <laughs> I mean, that, that is perfect right there. And now the defense, if they get a stop, you get even better field position on that punt. Yeah. But Hannah's got to say so here. They can make a decision whether or not they want to punt again. They'll gain maybe a yard on that run, though. Yeah. That was uh, Mario Garcia, number 15. But then now a late flag coming around, Aaron. And see what they call it for. You know, usually uh, the Eagle guys are pointing against unsportsmanlike conduct. It's going against South. 
Well, not to call it a number, but this is the second penalty on the same player, okay? And so this is the same player that on that punt return got called for block in the back, and now he gets an unsportsmanlike conduct. And so, you know, if uh, your coach, you kind of got to keep an eye on that right now, uh, being careful that that doesn't, you know, extend into anything else. And, and, and not only that, you, you, you did a good run stop. You, you have them pinned down at second and long, and now you're going to give them a first down, and you're going to move the ball 15 yards, yeah, Aaron. That's so, a big deal. And that's going to give them some breathing room, so sure. to speak, and you know, start the ball out at about the 21-yard line now. So those are the kind of costly errors mm-hmm. that kind of can hurt you. Yeah, and you're Hannah. Like, this is the time to pounce. This is the time to kind of get some momentum going in your favor. You know, it's just 6-0 here in the first quarter, and so it's anybody's ball game. So Hannah's got a chance right now. They've been given a little gift. Uh, we'll, what will they do with it? Well, not much right now. And they're 33 in the backfield on that big stop. <laughs> that was uh, Max Palacio, that number 33. It looks like I think he almost got there. Aaron is as quick as the, uh, the running back got the ball. So uh, good job there. And uh, he was able to get there. It's about, about a two-yard loss. So the, right now the defense is playing well. Other than that, unsportsmanlike conduct, Aaron, I mean, they're doing their job, stuff in the run. Uh, we haven't really seen uh, Hannah get a passing game going or a running game going like you said it earlier in the last drive you know the defense has been pretty much dominating for the south hawks all right hannah time to pick it up right now number 17 still in that quarterback position that's ramiro ruiz the third and a sophomore quarterback so you have to you know maybe a sophomore quarterback you know obviously talented uh, now comes the experience and the wisdom sometimes that comes with just playing the game out to number 21 jacob rossard and another flag, Aaron. Another flag coming down. So let's see what they're. That was a one yard pass. Maybe trying to catch South off guard and maybe trying to do a little screen and see if they can take it downfield. But we got a penalty and uh, we'll see what the call is right now. I think it's, it's going to go back. Right. And I want to say this is what our fourth or fifth penalty already to start the game. We're just. <laughs> we're still in the first quarter. And, uh, you know, this is going to be the rate by which penalties are going to be called and because penalties are, are happening, right? It's going to be a long night. Well, Aaron, I was about to say, if this is the rate that we're going to, yeah, we might have to work overtime today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, I think we're at four or five penalties so far here in the first quarter. And, and you kind of expect that early in the season, you know, especially pre-district, kind of working out the kinks. But, you know, that just comes down to discipline most of the time. Yeah, mistakes happen. Uh, but when it's unsportsmanlike conduct, those type of things, you know, that's more kind of discipline and, and uh, you know, staying true to, to, to who you are. Um, but this time does go against Hannah, and that's an incomplete pass. Yeah, he threw it a little over too, a uh, little high. And uh, that's going to bring now, Aaron, it's going to be a long third down. It's going to be about a third and 18, 19. And uh, South Hawks defense is played very well. Hannah's got to maybe try to take a shot downfield, try to maybe, you know, keep the defense a little honest. Uh, because right now what they're doing, uh, South is just uh, eating, uh, eating you know, getting everything down good. Short passes, they're there. Stuff in the run, they're doing it. So uh, mm-hmm. Hannah's got to try to open up that playbook a little bit because right now what they're throwing at South isn't working. All right, Hannah, desperately trying to make something happen here. They've been stuck here in the first two drives, this third drive, unless something happens on this third down and 16. And it'll be timeout, Hannah. We're going to yeah. go to commercial break. Be right back. We'll be right back.
We're back. Safety on that last play there, folks. I know you may have missed that, but either way, the snap went over the head of Hannah Eagle. and uh, So that'll be safety, meaning that Hannah will now punt the ball back to Harlan's and South, Joe. Yeah, it, it was a bad snap. It went right over the punter's head. All he could do is let it go out of bounds and uh, and, and get the two points instead of maybe trying to do something and maybe, you know, get a, a, a touchdown for the South Hawk uh, special teams. But, Aaron, you know, uh, those things when you're punting it back in that situation, and those are the things that you worry about, and that's why it's try to, you know, pretty important to try to get out of that red zone, I mean, or that end zone side, and try to give your punter or your team a little chance to, to breathe there. But nonetheless, uh, South defense because special teams come up with two points and now like you said hannah's got to uh, kick the ball it looks like they're gonna allow him to kick from the 20. south hawks should have some pretty good field position after this one too and you know south hawks it really seems like they've been kind of in, in control of this game they have eight points to show so far in the first quarter six on that touchdown they missed that swinging gate two-point conversion get the two points from the safety but really so far in this game you know it's been all south hawks especially in that defense now they get a chance to put some points on the board. Number 11 is going to let this one pass by. That's Jacob Gano. He's been around for quite a while for these Hawks. Tries to find that edge and really can't out around the 27-yard line. Yeah, it, it let the ball hit the crown. Wasn't able to pick it up. The defense, uh, I mean, the special teams of Hannah did an excellent job. Really didn't get this position, uh, the, the field position that they probably wanted. Aaron, they got the ball about the 27-yard line. So that's a good win on the special teams of, of Hannah's side. Uh, letting the ball bounce like that, it can take those wicked bounces. It can go right, left, or just right over your head. And that's kind of what it did earlier. And uh, South able to get the ball. Still in decent field position at the 27-yard line. Okay, South Hawks now. Offense, again, had that one really good drive. But other than that, Brownsville Hand has been playing some pretty good defense as well. This time, handoff. Sanchez, left-hand side. Great job there by number 40-42 of the Hanna Eagles to make a stop. Yeah, actually, Aaron, he's going to lose his stop. Uh, David Sanchez was, uh, as soon as he got the ball, he was met by that defensive line for the Hanna Eagles. Uh, good job on there and able to make the stop for a one-yard loss. So right now the defense is you know, trying to get something going, momentum, maybe get the offense, create something, maybe a turnover, Aaron, get that offense spark going. Number 40, that's Christian Garcia, 42, Peter Ochoa uh, on the stop there for the Hanna Eagles. So try to get you some of these names here off our roster. Um, then we can get some fan support there also and i kind of just gets uh, tackled by the turf monster in that way Trips yeah it up. i think he wanted to make a cut and just got off balance there yeah he wanted to make a cut he wanted to, he was going uh going left trying to make a cut uptown and we're able to slip and you know here in high school and college once you fall down eric the plane is dead mm -hmm. all right dylan and i again have spoken a little bit about him junior quarterback again came out his sophomore year competed for the job with a senior and uh, earned the playing time and now he's uh, in a full full seat uh, for the South Hawks in command of this offense Blocked there on the outside gives him space connect oh incomplete number 17 Yari Cabrera had it in his hands had it in his hand though He was backpedaling a little bit, but still should have been caught Aaron And uh, that was actually a pretty decent throw now the South Hawks instead of getting a first down now they got to put the ball, give the ball right back up to Hannah after really great special teams play on their part. Uh, and Hannah might be able to get some good field position. We're going to see number one back there, uh, Joseph Ruiz, and number two, uh, Christian Espinosa back there for the punt uh, to see if they can get some kind of spark there and maybe, uh, you know, get a decent return and, and get that offense going. All right, punt time here for the South Hawks. This could be, it might end up being, South, uh, I'm sorry, Hannah's best field position of the night so far. It brings it up to the 45. Does cross midfield just barely into the 49, onto the 49 yard line. And Hannah again has the best field position of the evening. Yeah, that was uh, Joseph uh, uh, Ruiz, number one for the Hannah Eagles. Able to run and catch the ball on stride and, and, and get a few yards. Yet, Aaron, like you said, this will be the first time they've seen the ball at the Hawk territory at about the 49 yard line. So hopefully maybe they can get a little spark, they can get something going uh, and uh, you know, try to make something happen. Earlier in the last possession, they did try to you know go a little deep, was unsuccessful, but I like the call. Okay, here we go. Hannah Eagles first down inside of South Hawk territory. Best chance of the night so far to put some points on the board. Down 8-0. Hannah Eagles, nice run. Fumble, though, into the hands of a Hawk defender. And that's going to go over to the green side. Yeah, he was doing a good run. That was Mario Garcia, number 15, uh, for the Hannah Eagles. And 
It, it, it was, it was a, you know, just a fumble in uh, South Hawks defense getting the ball now South. After a good start, Aaron, and I mean a good a good field position for the Anna Eagles, turn the ball over. And Hawks are going to get the ball right around the uh, 38 yard line and uh, let's see what they can do. See if they can make something happen here. You know, points off the turnovers. All right, here we go. We're going to keep rolling here. First down and ten. And you know, man, I mean, Anna Eagles, you kind of like you know wanted for them to have that opportunity right inside yeah. the 50 yard line and just cough the ball up like that but south hawks now have an opportunity they have they've struggled a little bit aside from that one big run uh by number nine he'll get the ball here sanchez yeah they really haven't been able to get momentum either no they haven't been able to get momentum and when they do get something something good happening the turnover or something like that happens and that kind of just you know draws everything back but you're absolutely right aaron uh it's they're trying to just figure themselves out and try to get some momentum going and right now they haven't been able to get something going second down and four to go double shift here in the backfield it will get set. Handoff 12. That's Kirksey. And that's a first down Hawks. Yeah. Right up the middle. Uh, a Trey Kirksey, number 12. Able to run right up the gut. Able to get some uh, so the first down and gets a South Hawk first down. Now they got a good point. They got the, you know, Aaron mm -hmm. Sanchez. Now we see some uh, Kirksey here right now. They're, they're running pretty well. Yes. And Anaya well, too. I, I say stick with a run right here at South Hawks because. If you don't need to pass, and you know, well, here we go right to the pass. Going to try to catch him off guard. He does have Jacob kind of downfield incomplete pass. Oh, he was open, too. He had a step or two. Uh, wasn't able to hit it uh, on target. It was a, not a bad pass, though. Uh, uh, kind of could not adjust to the ball. It kind of went another direction. But uh, either way, I'd like what the call kind of, you know, mm -hmm. let him know that, hey, we could still throw the ball on you even though we're continuing to run. And when you do long passes like that, it does open up the run a little bit because it gets the defensive safeties a little honest, plays them back a little bit, and, uh, you know, keeps it going. Second down now for the South Hawks. Going with two running backs in the backfield. This will get a pitch out here to Sanchez, number nine. Spins up field, gained about four yards. Running the ball hard tonight. Yeah, he's running really hard. It was a lot of aggression, and it shows because he's when, you know when it, at the time Aaron, when you, you see him when he's about to make contact, he puts his head down and right. shoulders down. He's not afraid. He's not afraid to get hit. Sanchez is just gonna hey, it's either gonna be me or you. And it, usually he's been winning the battles. And he's kind of like you know I don't know if he's the bigger of the backs, but he definitely. Uh, seems kind of be the heavier of the backs, and so you know I feel like he's kind of that that power, but he's also showing he's got that speed with that breakaway earlier today, and so that, he's been getting his number called a lot. Absolutely, I agree. He does have in the back. We're going to go over. We're going to go to commercial break here. When we get back, second quarter, live from Bogus Stadium. He does get the carry. Gets back to the line of scrimmage plus another four. Yeah, I was able to run to the right-hand side. Uh, Sanchez a leading the blocking on that one. But Edwards, who we hadn't really hadn't seen as much uh, since Verbo here. And uh, with a nice run, it's going to be fourth down, Aaron. And it looks like they're going to go for it. I like the call here. I like the gutsy call. That defense has been so strong tonight. Why not, right? you got to trust that defense. They haven't been able to uh, – haven't allowed to hand any, any yards, really. So go for it. Short pass there, though. I saw what he was trying to do. He just came up a little bit short. A lot of pressure coming up from Hannah Eagles, though. Got to give them credit, too. Yeah, he had a lot of pressure by Matthew Villegas, number five for the Hannah Eagles, and was able to make Dylan uh, Anaya throw the ball a little faster than what he wanted to, Aaron, and that was it. All right, we're going to go to commercial break. Be right back after this message. Yeah. 
And we're back. Here we go. First down and 10 for the Hanna Eagles. Ball marked here at the 39-yard line. Sends a man in motion. He does get the carry. Nice seal block on the outside. We'll spring this re receiver running back for a first down. That was number 14, Joey Godinez. Godinez, uh, number 14. Aaron, maybe, the, I think, I don't know. If, maybe correct me if we're wrong, but this is the first first down I think we've seen. And uh, it was actually a good run around the right-hand side. Mm -hmm. uh, so good job by Joey Godinez there, number 14, to pick up the first down. Maybe bring a little momentum because they're sure. back in South Territory. I didn't get a number, but I saw a white jersey make an excellent seal block there in the top of the field, and really that allowed that receiver to get outside of him and get upfield. And if that works, go back to it. Here's another nice run here for the Hanna Eagle. Big tackle there. He'll stop him just short of the first time marker. Yeah, that was number 15, Mario Garcia, with a nice run right up the middle pretty much, able to get about eight yards there. And right now, the last two plays, they've gotten about 20 yards on there. So maybe they found something on the defense, or maybe the offense is, uh, uh, their offensive line is coming alive. Uh, but nevertheless, they've uh, created two big holes in the, t in the last two plays. Big hit there by number two, Chris Posada, and he, he stopped that first down. If he missed that tackle, he could have been long gone for a touchdown. Absolutely. So, great job there by the safety. Second down and two. Hannah Eagles showing a little bit of life now in their offense. South defense going to dig in. Here we go. Number two's in motion. Gets a handoff. Same play as earlier. Will he get the seal block? They do. First down, Hannah. Around the right-hand side, that was Christian Garcia, number two. Aaron moving the chains again, getting some runs. We got a player down here for the Harlington South. All right, with oh, that. he got up pretty quickly. He's up. Okay. Sorry, I got to commercial. Yeah. Okay. We're a commercial break. And we're back here. 10-14 remaining in the first half. 8-0 the score. A lot of football's gone on. Not a lot of scoring so far. Uh, defense has been playing well. Ho South Hawks defense has been digging in. But now Hannah Eagles are in a little momentum run. Hand off up the middle. Nice run again. Close to that first down marker. Yeah, that's uh, Mario Garcia, number 15, Aaron. And this is about the fourth straight run. And they're kind of getting their way right now. Moving the chains, getting another first down. The last four plays have been extremely positive yards. Uh, eight to ten you know yards uh so right now they found something on that defense right now and they're going to continue to run Aaron, until they can stop it again yeah and really it's kind of gone back to their they're going up the middle on that that halfback dive isolation play and then they're going outside in the swing with a receiver and really they're going back to the, here again up the middle and it's been working so they found something that they've exploited and south's going to have to kind of regroup here and, yeah. and stop those two runs really yeah, that was number 15 again. He got about five yards. That was uh, Mario Garcia, uh, number 15, who's been right now their workhorse a little bit. Uh, been running the ball right up the middle and getting positive yards. This has been a pretty good drive. Very positive. So momentum coming around here. Second down for the Hanna Eagles. About five to go for a first. They are down 8-0. Touchdown and a safety. Gain of two. Yeah, I get about two yards again. Garcia uh, got it down to about the 15 yard line. They're about a third and four situation, Aaron. It's just going to be one of those questions. Are we going to continue running? The running has worked right now. The defense uh, been on the field quite a bit. Maybe they're a little winded. I don't know. It's still early in the season, Aaron. And still, you know, trying to get in, uh, out of the crap mode and all this kind of mm -hmm. stuff. But uh, right now, they're going to, they're going to, you know, I think it's a two down territory on their part. All right, third down coming. Number 17, that's Ramiro Ruiz, the third. Hand off, and he's tackled immediately in the backfield. I think someone got his ankle, and then finish off the tackle. He'll lose a yard. Yeah, well, now that they lost some yards here, I think they're going to probably bring in the kicking unit. I think. I thought if we would have got maybe a, a little closer, Mario Garcia, number 15, who's been doing an exceptional job of running the ball right now in the last few downs. But this time he was caught uh, on the backfield and uh, wasn't able to do much. Okay. But it looks like they're staying on there. Yeah, it looks like they're going to keep the offense there on the field right now with that fourth down. 17, Ramiro Ruiz the third comes in with a play. 14, right? Uh, Godinez is out there. 15 as well, Mario Garcia. 
Garcia's been been getting a bulk of the carries. They're going man to man coverage on the outside with these receivers. So he's going to have one on one, and he does let it fly. And does the receiver catch? He says no. He does not. Incomplete turnover on downs. Now that was a uh, and that was a good play, a, a good throw by Ramiro uh, Ruiz to Joseph Ruiz. I don't know if they're related or not, but uh, <laughs> was able to do a curl route. And uh, we'll be right back here, guys. First down and 10 for the South Hawks now. They're going back to it quickly here. Anaya, right-hand side. Fakes left, goes right. Trying to find a little edge, and he does gain of around 9 or 10 yards for the quarterback. Yeah, it's going to be about a yard shy, but a good run on the right side, to Aaron. And uh, hey, that's what you want to do in first down is pick up 5, 6, 7. Oh, they're going to move the chains. Mm -hmm. I saw the ref over there on the far end. Uh, looked like he was stepping in about a yard shy, but somebody down here said, no, it's a first down. So here we go again. Dylan Anaya talking to his offensive line there, making sure they have a snap count, know what the protection uh, that he wants, if he's going to roll right, left, if it's a run. And so zone block scheme, pulling the guard and tackle that time, and Edwards has a gaping hole to run through, and he does out to the 50, quick feet down to the 36-yard line. What a run there by Edwards. Yeah, I, I, I didn't think, but they had the, the, the Hannah defenders had a good angle on him, trying to do a little juke move and everything, but nevertheless, a great one. Uh, by Edwards and uh, able to get the ball down deep to about the 36 yard line of the Hanna Eagles. So, exceptionally good run. We had talking about him earlier. We hadn't seen him, Aaron. Mm -hmm. So, here he is, and he's yep. back on there. He's back in the second quarter. And again, that offensive line of those pulling guard and tackle just did an outstanding job. Here they go again, pulling around the corner. And this time, Dylan and I will keep it 15 down to the 10 yard line. And what about that offensive line play? Right now, they're winning. They're winning the battle in the trenches, Aaron, and making those holes because Anaya had a big hole. It was up to the safeties to make it happen. We're able to stop them and get them down. But nevertheless, it's going to be about a first and oh, they're still going to be able to get a first down. It's going to be about, uh, about the 10 and a half yard line. Dylan and I is going quick back to the line of scrimmage now. No running backs in the backfield. Uh, he's going to go empty set here. Waiting for the call from Coach Gonzalez there. And here we go. A lot of these plays are getting called from the sideline. Keeper up the middle spins. Uh, not much there. Second down and goal coming up for the Hawks. Yeah, it's a good quarterback keeper. Gained about two, three yards. Uh, Anaya calling his own number. Spreading out the offense, though, Aaron. No one in the backfield. Mm -hmm. So he caught Anna, Hannah thinking, are they going to throw or uh, or the quarterback's going to sweep? But they the defense did a, a really good job of containing that to a couple of yards. South Hawks, 8-0 is the score here. Remember, they scored earlier off that huge run by number nine, David Sanchez. Could not convert on that swinging gate two-point uh so can get to two-point extra conversion. Uh, and so safety got up to eight. Now they're trying to get up to a 15 touchdown and extra point conversion. Here we go. Dylan Anaya. Somebody check my math on that one. Number 12 with a carry. That's Trey Kirksey. Gain of two. Well, Aaron, right now we've seen Kirksey. We've seen mm -hmm. Edwards. Yep. We've seen Sanchez. We've seen Anaya. All four have run the ball very well. Yes. So it's going to make it a very difficult task for Hannah to try to stop when you have a four-headed monster on the, on the ground there. And that's exactly what South is doing. Putting them all on there right now. There's another team on the other end of the valley who does that very well in PSJ North. Yes, and, uh, absolutely. They run at you with a few different runners. And when you can do that well, uh, you, you pose some. And then you can pass out of that. Even more difficult for the defense. Here we go. Nice pass. Speaking of Sanchez, touchdown, Hawks. Untouched, unable to go. Did a quick curl route. Good job by Anaya to hit it. Sanchez uh, able to get that TD, Aaron. And uh, right now we've got a 14-0 pending the extra point. Really impressive, you know, because he can run the ball. We saw that earlier. But now he's able to catch the ball out of the backfield as well. And, uh, you know, just doing a great job there getting out in the open. Dylan Anaya, patient, right, rolls out, keeps his composure and connects for that touchdown. Here's a two-point conversion again. Well, they're going to go. Now they move right into that extra point. So, again, Anaya has a choice there. He says, if I like the matchup, I can just snap it, run it in, pass it. But now they're going to go traditional extra point. 14-0 is your score. Kick is up. And it is good. Wow, good. And so with that 15-0 is your score, we will be right back after these messages.
15-0 South Hawks. And now South Hawks finding a little rhythm on offense as well. Their defense has been stout the first half, not allowing the Brownsville Hannah Eagles to do much. Now the offense is starting to roll. Talk about that four-headed monster, Joe. And those running backs, the quarterback, receiver even in the backfield, and South Hawks may be on to something. Kickoff time now, Brownsville Hannah. We'll return this one. Squib kick. Picked up onto the 25 now. Makes move to the 30. Tackled around the 33-yard line. Good job. And Aaron, I agree with you right now. I'm, I, this is a, a look we didn't see uh, the first time we saw the Hawkins Bird both uh, two weeks ago. Uh, I like what they're doing. Kind of confusing the defense a little bit. Uh, South defense playing exceptionally well, except for that one uh, nice drive that Hannah got, but it was a turnover on downs. But right now, you've got to give the defense credit. Right now, the offense looking really good, uh, doing what they want on the run, and, and they've got a lot of weapons right now to do it with. All right, Hannah Eagles desperately trying to get something going, Joe. Like they want to find some kind of magic here on the offensive side of the football just to move the ball downfield. Have not been successful thus far. Hand off right-hand side. This play was working last drive, but this time South Hawks have an answer for it. Yeah, that was uh, number 44, Lerma, uh, for the South Hawks. that read that one right away, was able to get a two-yard loss on it. I, I was really impressed with the speed there because mm -hmm. uh, he was able to get you. I would think it was uh, Godinez again, number 14. Uh, for the South Hawks, yeah, Joey Godinez, and he was able to catch him and uh, bring him down for about a two-yard loss. Great job by Lederman, number 44, for the South Hawks. Yeah, Lederman was, you know, I think his third year now uh, on, on varsity, and, you know, every year you kind of see him, he, you know, he makes a play. He, he just kind of is quiet there, and then all of a sudden, 44, and all of a sudden, 44, and he just makes plays for the South Hawk defense, doing a great job of concealing on the outside, contain, I should say. But this time, no containment up the middle. First down for the Hannah Eagles. And that was number 15, Mario Garcia. The workhorse has been actually doing mm -hmm. a good job, Aaron, and that was a good uh, 14, 15 yard run. Able to move the chains, getting them about the 40, their own 47 yard line. So uh, maybe the offense is still saying, hey, we could run with sure. these, uh, we could run the ball here. And, and uh, they got it, their own weapons at their own, too. All right, they had a great drive last one. Absolutely. You know, moving the football down the field. Uh, and so, you know, they found something that works. Unless South is able to come up with some kind of answer here before the half, I say go back to that. Up the middle, there's there's space there for some reason. Number 15, Garcia on the run. Uh, Garcia's been their workhorse. He's, uh, I think, on there's. And that's going to come back. And it's, it's almost like for Hannah, right? Uh, I don't. Is there? Yep. There's a fight. It's almost like every step forward that they take, they take one back. And you know, it's been kind of frustrating, you know, for the Hannah Eagles this evening because those penalties have really hurt them. And that's going to be a 15-yard penalty, and it's, it's either going to be a personal foul or unsportsmanlike conduct. But other than that, it's going to be 15 yards, and that's going to hurt them. Yep. At the white cap here will give us kind of what it is. 15-0 the score here as we're awaiting the call. 342 now remaining on the scoreboard here in the first half. And you know, Hannah, Hannah Eagles again, they're still in this. This game is still anybody's game at 15-0. Um, you know, just have to find something. I, I believe they have found something on offense. But South has been so good enough, right, that they're able to bend but don't break. And, yeah, and they have. They had. I mean, Hannah had a good drive in the previous uh, possession, and it was a turnover on downs. Uh, you know, they were able to move on it. But uh, number 15, uh, Mario Garcia, has been actually the one that's been running very well. And uh, let's see, Aaron, if they keep going to him, because right now it's been very effective for the, the Hannah Eagles. All right, first down, 15 to go for the Hannah Eagles. Ball on the ball. Uh, Oh, look at this pass on the outside. Going to call someone else's number. Guess who it is? Gilbert Lever on the tackle. Yeah, that was number 21, Jacob Broussard, I mm -hmm. believe. Yes. And uh, I don't, they didn't fool no one. Oh. <laughs> it didn't fool anyone, and I actually lost about a yard or two. And right now, right now, the Hawk defense is actually moving them back a little bit, and they got a, they got a second and uh, about 17, 18 yards to go. And uh, right now, the way the defense is playing, you know, they're winning the matchups right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let him again call his name and again, you know, being a leader on that defense side of the ball for the South Hawks and uh, definitely a good season ramping up for him. Second down and 17. Wants to look downfield. Here comes the pressure. 
And just drops that short. Probably good because that was going to be a big hit there if he would have caught that football. Yeah. At, uh, Ruiz to the Reese again, number one. Uh, number 17, the quarterback Ruiz uh, hitting number, trying to hit number one for the attended pass there. And so right now it's going to be a third down. It's going to be about 17 yards to go. They were just trying to get some of that yardage back. Mm -hmm. That would have been a good seven, eight yard if the ball was caught. But like you said, if he would have, he was going to pay the price on right. that one as well, too. So good job of the Harlingen South defense right now. Uh, if you're watching at home, and we thank you for watching, uh, you got to be a, uh, I'm very impressed with the defense right now. I'm just doing a quick little... Lots of juniors and sophomores, right? Uh, number one here, that's junior Joseph Ruiz. And it will not be anywhere close to a first down. It's a fourth down coming up. No, it's going to be a fourth down. Uh, South is going to get the ball. There's still two minutes and 40 seconds left to play in the halftime. So right now we're going to tie him out. There's a lot to celebrate in the Rio Grande Valley. Go 240 remaining in the first half. 15 0 your score. South Hawks over the Brownsville Hanna Eagles. Fourth down, 14 to go. Punt team, two back to receive for the South Hawks. They want max return on this one if possible. Here we go. Good snap this time. Last one went over the head, ended up in a safety. High will be fielded and muffed. Fumble on the play, and Hanna Eagles pick it up 10 down to the six yard line. The Hanna Eagles get a gift right before halftime. Yeah, they got it. There we go. It's a special team. There's, it, all it takes is one play, and boom, you're back in the game mm -hmm. right now. If, if Hannah can, can uh, come up with something here. But I got a feeling right now, Aaron, they're just going to try to pound it in with, uh, I think it's uh, Mario Garcia, number 15, because he's been running really well right now. But this is a time where the defense also kind of gets a little tight. And, uh, you know, the, the Hawk defense has been uh, – uh, playing very well right now. So uh, it's going to be an interesting battle right here in the trenches uh, here with about uh, eight yard line, I think, seven or eight yard line. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, that's two muffs for the, the Hawk, Hawk punt returners tonight and two different players, but special teams definitely going to take a look at that tomorrow. Uh, and, you know, that's a big deal. The first one was able to be recovered, remember, uh, by Orozco. This one not. Here we go. Handoff, right-hand side, tackled in the backfield and nowhere to go. Nowhere to go, and they went, and they ran it to Mario Garcia, number 15, again. But this time, South was ready. I think they probably tried to come up with a different play because South is expecting Garcia to run the ball because he's been running the ball, and uh, that was either a no-gainer uh, or maybe a slight loss. But right now, um, uh, they you know, maybe try to uh, come up with a trick player, Aaron, mm -hmm. Aaron, and try to get some points on the board and go into halftime uh, with maybe a 15-7 to 7, uh, deficit. All right. Hannah has not been able to capitalize. They've been able to, again, bend but not break that defense. This time, runner up the middle, number 17, Ramiro Ruiz. And he's not down yet, Eric. They haven't blown the whistle. No, now they have. Sure. Now they have. And uh, I think they were letting them and see if the offensive line was Ooh. able to get a good. And they did give him a push, but uh, maybe about a yard push. But South against defense is... Uh, not breaking right now, Eric. They're getting a little tougher. They're expecting run. I think they realize that they're, they're not going to get the ball thrown too much, so they're expecting runs. And, Aaron, it's going to be a third down play. I think it's going to be unnecessary roughness on um, the defense, personal foul on this one. And so that was unsportsmanlike. He threw him there at the end, and so that's first down. So not third down. They go to first down, and they gain a couple yards. Yeah, it's going to be to keep giving it to him. So they're about at the one-yard line, Eric. Uh, you know, Aaron, I think 
At the one yard line, Eric, uh, you know, Aaron, I think what I do right now is just run it three times <laughs> with them right now and see what happens on there. You got to find the weakness, right? And, and if you look at this Hawk defense, one thing I will say is that their interior defensive linemen are a little undersized, right? And so if, if I were Hannah, I'd exploit that and, and just put an extra block in the middle and go. Here we go. They're going to try it, get the push. We ride down on that goal line. We're going to wait for the official on this one. And the official's going to say, nope, short, just short of the goal line. I mean, Aaron, that's going to be as short as you're going to wow. get. I think they're going to be uh, a baby about a six inches, it looks like. It's, it's, you know. But the thing is, right now, the time is running out. I don't know why anybody hasn't called the timeout. They're letting the, uh, the clock go out. Um, and they got two plays, so I think they, well, they've realized they got two plays. And I think they're going to do it again. Yeah, no, but Ruiz is just going to try. Here it goes. So we get a timeout. South's going to call the timeout. I think, South. Yeah, I think Hannah wanted to run it down as much as possible. So uh, anyway, we'll be right back after this message. Here on the goal line, Hannah Eagles desperately trying to get some points on the board before half. Here we go. Oh, they're going to call that. It's going to go against the Hannah Eagles five yards. But, uh-oh, a little extracurricular going on down there as well. Hannah, yeah. right now, Joe, just had an opportunity. They were inches. Literally, when we say inches, guys, they were inches away from the touch from the goal line to score a touchdown. But they got a false start. That's going to bring them five yards back. It's going to have to redefine and, uh, and come up with a different play. Because it looks like they were going to run that and play again right under the center. Hannah just had an opportunity, the best opportunity they had all night long to get something in the end zone. And they, they go false start on that one. So here we go. Start the play clock now, down 22. Looks like they're going to rotate a couple guys in. You know, Hannah may do better with a space, though, Joe, because they, they've been creating space in that defense uh, with their blocking schemes. And so uh, maybe not having them so bunched up on the goal line might help. But nope, not so much. South says not at all. No, they ran it. I think they've gotten it with the well a little bit too much. I think they're probably going to call a timeout. Aaron, it looks like they're going to try to go up and try to get three points on the board, not to go up with a good big goose egg. But a flag's coming down, Eric. So let's see what this flag's about. Well, again, you know, lots of flags here in the first half. Uh, lots of penalties. Whitecap's going to give us the ruling on the field here. That's another one. That's two on this drive alone, unsportsmanlike conduct. Yeah, that's going to give them the ball right back at about the three-yard line there. And they've got time. Uh, for two mm -hmm. plays, the Eagles still yeah. have two timeouts, but that's going to be them a first down, though. So they have two, maybe three plays uh, when they looked like they were they were done, right. and it looked like they were going to end up having to kick a field goal. So now Hannah has a little bit of life in them, and with 22 and a half seconds left to play, um, let's see what they run, Aaron, because uh, they they got a few plays to go. Snaps a little high, handed off and tackled in the backfield by number 13 to the South Hawks. That was about a one-yard loss, maybe two. They read that one. Might have had something to do with that snap, though, Eric. When you go a little high sometimes, breaks the rhythm. Running back has to stop and wait and then take off again. It's all timing, and right now they didn't have it. Wow. I would run the ball right now. I actually am rooting for them to get on, to get on the board. So we have a good team. And South is giving them the chances. Like we're, we're, right now, it's just you can't run. Take advantage of the two yeah, three, Maybe, maybe you got to throw in the end zone. That way you preserve a timeout. And if you do, if it doesn't work, when you drop the ball, whatever, you, the, the clock stops. So yeah, they. Back in five, four, three. 
how many chances will Browns will have to get <laughs> to get this touchdown in the end zone? You know, South has really hurt themselves by these penalties. Those first one, like, kind of two of them here in this drive. But at this, at a certain point, right, Hannah, Hannah's got to uh, in order to, to get to the end zone. Here we go. Second down. They get another shot here. Keeper left down. And a touchdown, Hannah Eagles. Wow, that was a good play. Faked it. They went, they, everybody thought that they were going to have the ball running to Mario Garcia, number 15. And it did a, uh, uh, Ruiz did a heck of a job, Aaron, by, by selling that run. And everybody went right, and he went left, and he was able to get in for the, the six points on there. Good job. Good call by the Hannah Eagles right now, uh, getting themselves on the board and maybe getting themselves back in the game. I yeah, totally agree. Beautiful play call right there. The offensive coordinator, head coach, whoever did that, and uh, got everybody going one way and ran it the other. Absolutely. The point is up and good, and we will be right back after these commercials. Time for Browns with Hannah, and they get a chance to kick off because they just scored a touchdown, folks. 15-7 is your score. Brilliant play call there uh, by Hannah to get some points on the board. With 13 seconds remaining, Edwards does get this one, handles that ball nicely out to the 25-yard line, tries to get stripped away there, but holds on to it down to the 34. Now to the 34, great run, got him some good field position, but unfortunately we got uh, about six seconds left uh, to play at halftime, Aaron. But, and uh, right now we've got a pretty good ball game, and I'd say it's got a little exciting here at the end. Yeah, 15-7 is definitely a great ball game. Great, uh, you know, looking forward to in that second half. We'll talk about that here as soon as we get into our halftime report. Uh, but Bronzeville had us just kind of stuck around here in that first half. They were able to strike here at the end and keep the game close. South Hawks can't imagine they're going to try to do anything, you know, too uh, imaginative here at this point in the ball game other than get to the locker room. But we'll see what happens. Do we have some explosive players on that offensive side of the ball? Hannah's going to run with two safeties deep, cover two, just in case. Anaya, keeper, run the clock, go down inbounds, and this should be the end of the first half. That is it, folks. That's the end of the first. We got a good one here, Aaron. We got a 15-7 to ball game here. Uh, Harlington South right now at 15, and the uh, Hannah Eagles, 7. Let's talk a little bit about that first half, Joe. And, uh, you know, it, it just seems like kind of like the broadcast tonight between you and I and, and the game took a little while to kind of get going. And, uh, you know, Hannah kind of came out here, started started to, to, to make a lot of mistakes early. South Hawks capitalized, but not really. You know, they capitalized in the way that they were able to get the turnover on downs, but really couldn't capitalize in the way of, of touchdowns early in that first quarter. Now, and they've had the opportunities, like you said. They've had opportunities. they had, uh, you know, special teams gotten the ball. And, and really great field position, but not able to uh, capitalize it. But right now, the South Hawks here, what we were talking about going on their review, have done an outstanding job on the run right now. They've had Edwards, they've had Sanchez, Anaya, and Kirksey, all, mm -hmm. a, I want to say, uh, a four-headed monster. Right. And, and there was times where they had all four of them in the back down. When they had all four of them in the back down here, 
They looked really impressive, and they were able to do things uh, and confuse the defense of Hanna at that point. Yeah, if you just look at the eye test, right, for both teams here on the field, and just kind of this is my opinion from up here in the booth, South has looked like the better team for the most part. Defense has looked more sound. Offense has more weapons. But somehow, some way, it's 15-7. Hanna has been able to hang around, right? They've been able to hang in there. They did find some success running the football. And really two plays, and they're kind of flopping at both sides of the field, but that end around... If they got the seal block and then up the middle found some gaps as well, I do think South's defense, right, if you look at the weakness, is the interior defensive line is undersized. And so I think that's something that Hannah, they go back into that, that locker room, they might think, let's keep doing that the second half. But Hannah, again, staying in this ballgame. I, I totally agree with that. And I was, you know, uh, saying that the interior right there, because Hannah does have some size up in the front of the O-line. And that one drive, though it got stalled out by a turnover on downs, well, they were able to run in good chunks there and were able to run really good. Their best drive didn't come up with any points, but that was a heck of a drive. Yeah, Hannah Eagles, again, you know, I, I think that they're, they're excited to be in this position. Really, they should probably be down 20... 20- 2-0 at this point, right? But yet they find themselves 15-7. So I say get into that locker room, figure out the things that have been working, and then really work on accentuating those in the second half. South Hawks, again, can you get that offense more efficient in that second half? Can your defense continue to play and be dominant like they were in the first half? And then they get the win that way. Absolutely. And I think that's well, I think they got a lot of things to work on. But I think, Eric, we're going to see them try to continue to run the ball, maybe get some good special team plays. But they're in it. They're down by one possession. Anything happened, as we saw, that the special teams was the, the, the key factor towards the end and able to get them uh, a touchdown. All right, Joe and Aaron here in the booth here. We're going to go to break here. We'll be back shortly before the third quarter. But we had a good one here, 15-7. Your score as we go to halftime. Thank you. 
watching. Alrighty, we'll keep watching. And um, pretty good game. It's uh, 15 to 7. All right, camera one, we're going to pan out to you. Just follow the... Yeah. Uh, the All right, do that. I'm going to go downstairs and do that. Yeah, we're going to need an extra roster for uh, down there. Let me, uh, and uh, Zana, uh, Zana, uh, oh, 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 he doesn't have any. Oh, you only have one. one. Okay, okay. Yes, I'll oh, go back up there. Thank you, okay. Yeah, and they can make copies over there, can't they? Yeah, they can make copies over there, can't they? Yeah, they can make copies over there, can't they? Yeah, they can make copies over there, can't they? Yeah, they can make copies over there, can't they? Yeah, they can make copies over there, can't they? Yeah, they can make copies over there, can't they? Yeah, they can make copies over there, can't they? Yeah, they can make copies over there, can't they? Good. So, so Vanessa's actually, uh, I can handle Wednesday or not Thursday. So I said, I said, what time are the games today? We don't have games today. So say, unless you want to go get more practice. Is that okay? You can do that. You can just enjoy things and stuff. Here we go. Because I was like, I was, I was waiting for, you know, somebody, I told, I even told, um, uh, Becky, I was like, hey, we're, we're probably going to work Thursday night. And Aaron asked me to cover her, and I'm like, I'll do it. She didn't tell me anything either when I saw her this morning, and I told her. But, and then last week, that was last Friday, I said, I told her, I told her, if you want me to see you, I'm going to talk to you. I'll see you in the room. So I'm, like, I'm trying to get you in there, Rob, but for whatever reason. She's the one that's been asking me. I know. Oh, you know. So I'm like, okay. I'm She's like, always like, messaging like, me. Wednesday, I'm like, it's Wednesday. Alright, so then I'm like, what time? She was here, right? right? Yeah, well, she, she had told me to get home. She said, what time? She's like, oh no, we're not getting home. I'm like, what are you talking about? Okay. But anyway, she says she's got me for this next Thursday. But she needs coverage for Tuesdays, too. I can't do Tuesdays right now. I'm going to cut around and get some other shots of all the stuff going on. I can do Tuesday once a week. I got a good wide shot. And I was looking at it. And I went home. I went for you. Well, I didn't want this today. I wanted this one this year. So I got home. I said, I was beaten because we had an incredible day. Yeah, I'm not joking when I tell you about 45, 50 reds. But no wind. That's just schools. We were, that's all we were doing, just running into them. All the time, coast out and moving. Yeah, we, we were going, we went We went first north and then we went east. And Aaron, we were, we met at the shop at 5 o'clock. We, we were at the mouth by 6. The rays hadn't even come out yet, and then we're just kind of foot putting. And then as soon as the rays started going, out, you just see the ripples and see, man, we just, man, we had took in some of the Toronto guys, and four times, four shots, four reds at the same time, and we're all like, that's cool. Ooh, get out of the way! <laughs> that's awesome. It was, it was fun. Yeah, that was a good day. It was, it was a great one. And, and they were moving, the schools were moving too much, the pilots. No, and, and, and once, you, you know, once you catch it, yeah, you're just scared, of, but then we find another one bigger. Geez. We find a 50, 60, and then you find a two, 300. We literally caught 40 plus. My first red was 33. Retired. Retired. And I, and I, yeah, I was, I got, and then the night before, I was meeting with acid and yeah. and I was just like, it hooked me up. And so I went to bed about yeah. one, and then got up at four. So I got home about two, and I said, I crashed out. And I go, there you go. Yeah, I'm fresh. I'm fresh. I waited and waited and I was like, oh, not. And even, I watched part of the half time and I was wrong. But I was up just like today. I was birthday yesterday, that's why I didn't yesterday. I never had a year back from the hotel. So I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was just like, I got you being Thursday, and I'm like, I'm not going to expect you not to do it, because uh, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know until that day. I text her, hey, so maybe. And then, because then I noticed that on the next day, Jake, I'm going to put her face on the page, hey, if you can get a good voice, you can come over here. I know, we do sports announcers. I'm like, don't leave me back directly as far. Then we do it. Can't do this. That's weird. I'm not getting with them anymore. That's weird. 
Yeah, whatever. I'm, I'm so busy right now that nothing. I enjoy it. Usually I have another day that I'm upset. I'm not home. I'm not the week. Please tell us for us. So do I. Like when, when my daughter was playing basketball, and Coach Z was her coach, right? I mean, for four years, you know, a lot of parents didn't like her. And I was always defending her. This is what they need. I mean, this is what they need. You can't, like, oh, I don't know. She was, I, I was there, right? She would, uh, yeah, you know, and, and so I, and I, I, and the parents are like, oh, she's just too mean. I'm like, no, no, no. This is why kids are the way they are sometimes because they don't have old school uh, values. And I, I, and my daughter, they still communicate. They're, you know, um, and I just saw her not too long ago at HEB, and I gave her a hug. I had, you know, uh, her husband, right? And I saw him, yeah. and, uh, and I, you know, Thank you. 
And we're back here, second half live coverage at Bogus Stadium, 145 remaining on that halftime clock. And shortly we'll see these two teams take the field, South Hawks in their end zone warming up, Hannah Eagles as well. Joe, let's talk about the second half and kind of keys for Hannah Eagles. Let's start with them first. Well, Aaron, I think the keys are they were they had that one good drive. The run has been working, but, but I think they do have to open up a little bit, uh, take some shots downfield <clears throat> to continue to open up that run a little bit more. Uh, but um, they've got some work to do. They're only down by a possession, Aaron. They've been hanging around. Uh, special teams has kept them in this game, so uh, we hope that they can come back, uh, make a game out of it because they're only down by one uh, one possession. All right, South Hawks, right? They get they're like we talked about before. They uh, went to halftime. We're really starting to get rolling on offense. Uh, couldn't really capitalize early on when they were trying to uh, when they were making the stops on the Hannah Eagles. And for them coming out in the second half, we talked about running the ball, multiple running backs, receivers. What, what's the plan for them to get some more points on the board? Well, you know, I I think right now it starts with the defense. Defense is shutting them down, and they've been doing a really good job. Uh, a lot of touchdown, but kind of an unfair situation, you know, a special teams fumble. But, Aaron, I think to continue the game, I think you hit it on the head there, is it seemed that those two drives that they put in uh, when they had Sanchez and, the, you know, and, of course, Anaya, a quarterback, and Edwards and, and Kirksey all in, it could kind of confuse the, the – the Hano Eagles defense because they're like, well, who's going to run the ball now? You right. know, you got now you have four people that are more than capable of running. So I think if they could see that look again, I think they could be more successful again. All right. And so here we are. We're ready to kick off here in the second half. Excited uh, to bring in this game here. And Eagles kind of showing some life there towards the end of that first. Should make the second half interesting. Uh, thanks for joining us in Real Sports Live. And uh, looking forward to a great second half ahead of us. We're going to go to commercial break and we'll be right back for kickoff. And we're about ready for kickoff here in the second half. South Hawks will be receiving up 15-7 over the Hannah Eagles. And the Hannah Eagles need to get a stop here on defense so they can get a chance to get their offense back on. See if they found something as they went into the locker room at halftime. I, I, I totally agree. And, and for the South Hawks, if they want to build on this league, is uh, right now is the time, you know, get a good run back and uh, get something going here. But here we go. All right, South Hawks back to return this one. They're working on not muffing those kicks and punts. This time, nice return out by number one, Luis Orozco, and he brings it out to about the 35-yard line. Yeah, that was a good run. It did get him at about the 37, 38-yard line. Aaron, which we talked about here at the, at the halftime, uh, you know, one thing right now South has been doing, and they've been doing it really well, it doesn't matter who uh, gets the ball. Uh, they've been running exceptionally well with Sanchez, Anaya, Edwards, or Kirksey, it, you know, they've got a four-headed monster. And I think if we see some of those looks again, I think there's going to be some confusion there for the, the Hannah Eagles. All right, first and 10 now for the South Hawks. And uh, definitely going to run with one of those running backs in the backfield, number 12, right-hand side. Nothing doing there. 73 in the tackle for Hannah Eagles. That was, you know, that was David, I was I believe it was David Sanchez there uh, for two-yard loss, but a good job by number 73, Alex Garza. For the Hannah Eagles, uh, making a good stop and getting some good penetration and uh, keeping a good, uh, keep the couple yard, yard loss. Second now for South Hawks. Rolling out, wants to find a receiver, but here comes the pressure. Hannah Eagles doing a good job. Number seven there finally on the tackle, Jordan Almeida. Yeah, that was a good run on the left-hand side. Got some some of the yardage back. Uh, able to get about seven to eight, nine yards because, remember, the first one was a uh, two-yard loss. So now it's a manageable error and a manageable third and four. And uh, they're going to go at it with a no huddle. All right, Dylan Anaya again talking to his offensive lineman and just wants to make sure that they're on the same page as far as the blocking scheme goes here. Third down, important. Here comes a blitz up the middle. Though Anaya reads that so well and uh, finds that pressure right, goes left, down to the 30, 25, 20. Experienced play there by Anaya. 
That gets down to the 19-yard line, Aaron, and it was a great run. Got in a good seam, took it middle, went left, and able to not, like, there's again, Anaya running the ball and getting a lot of yards. This is exactly what South wants to do on the opening drive is come to make a statement, add to that lead. Hannah on the other side, you know, uh, their defense needs to slow it down and uh, hopefully get some of the, uh, something happening here. They just did a great job. He, he read that blitz coming in. The linebacker, middle linebacker, was putting pressure, and he just went around him. Excellent job there by the quarterback. 12 now spinning, and uh, he gets some nice yards. Trey Kirksey still rumbling down there. About seven, maybe even eight-yard gain. Yeah, that was a good run there. <clears throat> yeah, right now, uh, this is where I think the, uh, after a good gain like this, Aaron, and getting that push, but right now, I think Hannah's got to try to make a statement. You know, best case scenario, try to come out with a three-point, uh, you know, get him down for a field goal. But right now, South is uh, moving that wheel right now. All right, second down coming up. Do have number 14 in the backfield. That is Alvin Edwards. Have not seen him too much when we have, though. He can be an explosive player for the South Hawk offense. Snap now. Wants to pass. Has Gano. Oh, and that was a little bit of extra. Yeah, I think they're going to call him on, on pass interference. Uh, you know, the cornerback had a great angle, but just hit him too early, Jude. Uh, and, and <laughs> yeah, I think that's going to go against the defense. Yeah, I think so too, Aaron. But I was looking at the two side judges, and none of them called the flag. And I'm like, well, right. but it was actually the back judge that threw the flag. And I think he saw what we saw. It was just a, a, the hit was a, a, a little early. So that should bring out a first down. And now they're bringing in Lerma in, possibly as a fullback or yes. something like that. They're running around like as an H-back. Yeah. And then he'll kind of, sometimes he'll go in motion. And then once he gets behind that guard, and then they'll snap the ball, and then he's, he's an extra blocker. But, yeah, uh, you know, I made the number seven. Actually had a good angle. It, it's just he just jumped that route a little bit too much, and he just he hit without the ball being there. And so that's what it was called on him. First down, here we go. There's the H-back, and now he's behind the guard. A little extra blocking. Anaya, a great tackle there. I'm going to try to get you a number on that, but Hannah Eagles, good stop. Now, I couldn't see the number. I think it was number uh, 34. Number 40 was on the stop. Thir there. Yeah. Christian Garcia, and I think he had a couple friends with him, too. Yeah, he, he had a few friends. I, I, but it, nevertheless, it's a great stop, uh, able to get him down to a second down. And uh, the defense right now looks like a little pump, but the offense is moving the ball very well. Second down and goal uh, for the South Hawks. They're going to keep that heavy package in there. Will Gilbert Lerma in there kind of as a fullback. He's going to shift right now. And they're going to go right. Anaya's got nice clearance. Big block on the outside. Wow. Springs for a <laughs> touchdown. Did you see the block by wow. Lerma, number 44? Uh, he took the guy off his feet. I couldn't see the number of Hannah, but he went in there and pounded. Was able to get that run on the right-hand side. Uh, give credit to uh, – <laughs> oh, my God. I, I, I'm sorry, but Gilbert Lerman just made an outstanding block there by the Harlingen South Hawks. Uh, and able to get that touchdown, Aaron. It was a great block. And this is kind of what you expected Harlingen South to do in the first half, right? Kind of more of a dominating offensive run. And uh, this time they kind of showed what they're able to do, I really believe. And, and – just good job coming out and firing on all cylinders here in the second half. Extra point attempt now. They're up 21-7. And uh, the kick is up, and that is good. And with that, we will go to commercial break, and we'll be right back after these messages.
And we're back here. 22-7 on your new score with 8.46 remaining in the third quarter. South Hawks coming out with a dominant drive here in the second half. Hannah will receive, return this one at the one-yard line by number one. And he brings out to the right-hand side, out to about the 25. Yeah, that was Reese, uh, number one, uh, getting out to about the 25. That was a boot. He really got into that one and going actually kind of against the wind. Uh, so... That was a great kick and, um, that, and, and a decent return on there. Got it down to about the 25, 26-yard line. But, Aaron, we talked about it right here. I think Hannah has got to make a statement. He's got to answer back, and I don't think they can answer back with three points. They've kind of got to answer back with seven points and, and, and keep in this game because if they do three and out, it, it may get out of hand. All right, first and ten out for the Hannah Eagles. And again, we talked about what was working for them in the first half. Run up the seam, run on the outside. It's time to go up the seam inside the tackle. Gain of about three yards. Yeah, that was in the right-hand side. That was Mario Garcia, I believe. That's been their workers, Aaron, in the mm -hmm. first half. And I think that it looks like they're going to keep on going. A decent gain, about three, four yards on it. Uh, but they're going to continue to work him until it doesn't work anymore. But they've had success with him. Right on the gut, right on the interior of the defense. So let's see if they continue to do that. We talked about it a little bit at halftime. Let's see if they continue. All right, second down for the Hannah Eagles. Down 22-7. I mean, it's a two-touchdown you know, touchdown game, if you will. Um, of course, with a, with a two-point conversion in there. Um, but technically not out of this game just yet. Going to have to get something going here. And around number seven. And uh, Hawk defense obviously made some adjustments at halftime as well. Yeah, it, uh, actually, you know, he had a loss on that one. It was about a two- or three-yard loss. That was number seven. But, <clears throat> yes, yeah, actually, they have made some adjustments on it, Aaron. And they're, they've always been able to contain other than one or two runs. on they, the, the South defense has great speed around the edges on it. Uh, so running around them, it's going to be very difficult to do. All right, third down. And back to the original line of scrimmage. So third and 10 now for the Hannah Eagles. 725 does seem like this third quarter is going a little bit faster than the first two did. Uh, and so we're in it now. Third down, Hannah Eagles. South running pretty base defense. They do bring a blitz this time. And number 15 running so hard, trying to get some extra yards for his team. They're excellent job, but just short will be fourth down. That was a great run. I mean, he broke a couple of tackles. Mm -hmm. uh, that was uh, number 15. We've been calling his name out. But, uh, Mario Garcia, uh, the running back, was almost got the first down. And he was like, I think that play was just to give him a little bit of room. But ended up getting eight or nine yards on that. And uh, San Hannah's still going to punt. Uh, but uh, what a great run by him. And then right now they got uh, they got a new uh, guy in the backfield, number three, uh, Mikey Gonzalez. Mm -hmm. uh, see if he can make some kind of difference on there because they had a little bit of issues before. They did. They had two different returners muff those uh, punts early in the game. And so going to give someone else a shot, Mikey Gonzalez. I do remember he had a couple of interceptions last year, so I know he has some hands. Uh, and he'll get a shot here to return this one if the punt gets there. Comes a pressure and it blocked. blocked. It will not get there. And what an impressive block with number 38 of South Hawks, and that's Reno Villanueva. Uh, Villanueva just came in to the left, to the right side, and uh, you know he went to the right side, and the punter went to the to, to his left, and they just collided and able to get that block. Uh, great play. Special teams have been playing on both sides. Uh, have been playing some really good special teams ball. Now South has got the ball. <clears throat> All right, South Hawks now. They get another chance to hit pay dirt again with a short field ball marks on the 11-yard line. What a punt block by number 38, Villanueva. That was a great play. Gives his offense a chance for a short field. Anaya shifts the guys over. This is what they're running down on the goal line. Very similar. Three running backs in the backfield. Who will get it? And he does make a nice carry. Tackled by number 48, I believe. Yeah. And it, it, right there, we saw the, the actual, um, uh, the three-headed monster of the Hawks again. That was Trey Kirksey with the handoff. But they had uh, everybody in the backfield there. Uh, looked like he was going to uh, break it out, but good job on the Hannah defense to stop that for a minimal. Yeah, that was number 40, Nicholas Wu, the senior defensive end for Hannah. Here we go, shifting to the left-hand side. Same thing, now opposite. Toss. Fumble on the ground. This could be and will be Hannah football. Wow. And this is exactly what Hannah needed, a little turnover. And I believe that was number 30. 
Yeah, I, I couldn't tell. There was a uh, lot. Yeah, there was on. there were so, so many white jerseys. We apologize for that. Uh, but uh, Aaron, uh, this is exactly what South didn't want to do. This is exactly what Hannah needed was a turnover to keep him back in this game. Yeah, number thirty-one. I <laughs> do want to call that number out. Uh, thirty-one, Edwin Figueroa. Thanks for the help here in the box. So first and ten, Hannah gets a, a breath of life here. I mean, I, I said if if this goes over, South scores another one. That's going to make it really hard for Hannah to come back in this ball game. But here they get a fresh breath pumped into their lungs, and they got a shot. First and ten. Now Hannah, handoff, tackled immediately in the backfield by number fifty-five. Yeah, that was a good tackle by number fifty-five, and that was uh, Tyson Tatum and James Navarrete there, number four, in for the tackle and the stop. Uh, but that was a great stop on the defense, and uh, that was about a two-yard loss, Aaron. All right, Hannah Eagles, again, finding some success. But you know what? Every, each team gets a chance to go into the locker room at halftime, make adjustments. And so, you know, on one hand, Hannah found some things that was working in that first half. South could have gone in and say, how do we stop those two things that's doing well? And then come out here and just have the same type of effect uh, on the defensive side of the ball. So Hannah Eagles struggling here to get the ball moving in the second half. Second down and 12 now for the Eagles. Man in motion. Moves the safety over. Here comes a pressure from behind. Gets away. But Ledmai kind of just chunks it to his running back, 21. And he gets a first down for the Eagles. Wow. That was a great play. It looked like it was going. That was Jacob Broussard, number uh, 21, that we were talking about. Ledmai was taking off on the left-hand side. And, 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 and the defense was coming. He just kind of just flipped it over to him. Kind of almost like a Patrick Mahomes mm -hmm. style of pass yep. there. He just knew he was going to get hit. And said, hey, let me toss it over to him. And it turned out to be a pretty big play and got a first down out of it. A little flea flicker, <laughs> non flea flicker. <laughs> Great job. Improvisation. How about that? Yeah, this is, yeah, exactly. Here goes first down now. Blitz coming on the outside. They'll run it opposite of the blitz. Lots of hard tackling going down there. I guess about two yards on the gain. Hard fought. Yeah, that was a hard fought. That was again number 15, uh, Mario Garcia for the South, I mean, for uh, Hannah Eagles. And, but like you said, Aaron, he's running very hard, but at the same time, the, the mm -hmm. defense is swarming in there. It's just a lot of impact in yeah. there, a lot of hitting in there. A lot of collisions going on, you know, around every single run play, it seems. And that, you know, is blocking, tackling, uh, and just getting off blocks, too. And so a lot, a lot of physicality going on in the field tonight. Second down and seven, about eight. Coming up for Hannah. Backfield, he'll be hit and stopped and nowhere to go. Yeah, that was a great play by Gisele Ovaya, <clears throat> number five. And it was 55, Tyson Tatum on that stop. Oh, that was? Uh, Tyson Tatum, again, just called his name not that uh, long yeah, ago. Yeah, not that long ago. And that's the second, you know, tackle in the backfield. So he's, you know, I, I, he may have heard me. I said kind of that the interior of that defensive line was a, uh, was a, a weakness perhaps. And he said, I'm going to prove you wrong here. <laughs> and he's showing that for the defensive tackle position that uh, he's, he's causing a lot of problems in the backfield. And Tyson has been playing varsity, I think, on his third year. So, um, you know, he's definitely not, not a weak link, obviously. But I, I like the way that he's showing out here in the second half. Good tackle in the backfield. That's 25 and 4. Yeah, that was uh, uh, James Navarrete. And uh, you're right, Aaron. And that was also Joaquin Romero, number uh, 24. I mean, 25. And uh, was able to get him a couple of yards lost. And now Hannah looked like they had something going on here, but it stalled out here. It's going to be fourth down. They're going to be punting the ball. And uh, and then South's going to get the ball back And if uh, nothing happens here on special teams. Because special teams, Aaron, mm -hmm. have been pretty crazy here. Sure, it has. We had a <laughs> punt block earlier. We had a missed two-point conversion on, on the swinging gate. Uh, we had a, a snap over the head, safety. Yeah, definitely has been another muffed one that was recovered. And we almost got there again. Almost another block. And Mikey Gonzalez will stay away from this one down around the 35-yard line. So South will be getting the ball here at the 35-yard line, guys. And we'll be right back here in a few minutes. Be And here we go. First play back. First down. And that was Sanchez for about maybe a no gainer, Aaron. 
The first down really for the South Hawks has not been very productive, right? And usually that's when you want to get your first chunk of yards, three, four, five yards. The South really kind of gets explosive on third down. I don't know how the stats in front of me, but I feel like this whole game tonight, they've kind of waited to third down to make something happen, and that's something they need to work on, you know, moving forward in the season. Anaya Keeper on the left-hand side. Gains about seven yards. Gives him a good magic ball, a good run on the left hand side, like you said, Eric. Gives him something to go on on third down. It's going to be a third and two, 33. It's going to be a short. Uh, so, a good manageable third down. And Dylan and I, you, you know, at, from the quarterback position, he obviously has the giftedness to be a runner. But you got to be careful because it's a long season, right? And, and I, I do know he can throw the ball as well. And, you know, you, you wonder if you have three other running backs, give them the ball more right now, I feel, especially, you know, up a couple touchdowns, protect that quarterback. Absolutely, I agree with you. He took his number. He took the, his own call again. Got the first down there. But you tell you, we're only the, in, in game three, and he's been hit already quite a bit yes. of times. So yeah, I understand where that's coming from. And that you know, you kind of don't want to get your quarterback to be hurt or, or get hit that many times. Yeah, he's and he, he's a, a leader type guy. You know, he's young junior, but yet, you know, he's going to be the type of put the team on the shoulders and, and let's go to work, right? And but at the same time, it's a long season. And you got to you got to take care of that quarterback. Nice. That's a pitch and catch there, if you will, but not much gain on that. Not much there. That was Jacob Gano there and uh, got about uh, about a yard on it, though. I was trying to see something uh, broke up and open. And uh, this should probably be the last play of the quarter. And we're going into the fourth quarter right now right, with a 22-7 to ball game. Third quarter kind of went by quick for us. A lot of running the ball, a lot of passing, and uh, got a couple scores there, or one score, I should say. Um, but here we go. We're going to get one more play, I believe, off before we go to that fourth quarter. Hand off Sanchez, left-hand side. He broke a long one right around from this area early in the game. This time, very close to that first time marker. I think you'll have it. Yeah, it's going to be right on that marker. <laughs> and as soon as they reset the change, the time will go. And here we go. It's the end of the third quarter. Harlingen South, 22, Eagle 7. We'll be right back after these messages. Now we're back here. First down and 10 coming up. South Hawks here in, in this fourth quarter, Joe. Just like that, it feels like the third quarter's gone, and we're in the fourth. 22-7. They're in the driver's seat right now as Hannah Eagles. <clears throat> have stayed close to striking distance, but just haven't been able to get that that close. And uh, like you said, that they've got to come up with something here, Aaron. Try to make a stop, turnover, or something, make it happen. <clears throat> All right, first down here for the Hawks. Anaya handoff. Edwards, right-hand side. He's got speed. Can he get downhill? He does. 25-20 inbounds down to the 17-yard line. You know, Aaron, every time we see him, it seems like he makes a big play. Very explosive. Like I said, he got speed. He went around the right-hand side. Got a nice gain. Got it down to about the 19-yard line. They've got a lot of weapons in the run. They've got Sanchez. They've got, you know, uh, uh, with, uh, with uh, I'm sorry, Sanchez, Anaya, Kingsley, and Edwards there. Um, so they got a lot of weapons, and here we go. My thing is, it, Edwards is by far the most explosive, Joe, is that you just uh, the eye test right here. And, you know, you wonder if, if he gets 20, 25 carries a game, you know, what would that do differently to your offense? You know, and that's a great question, Aaron, because every, every time he gets the ball, there's always an explosion happening. He runs the ball. Uh, we've seen him, you know, I, I'd like to see what his average looks like right now, but it, I guarantee it's at least 10 yards a sure. carry. All right, second down now. The Hawks, Dylan and I in the backfield uh, along with 
Edwards. And uh, do have three receivers split to his right. Keeper calls his own number again. And down close, I think he may have that first down. Yeah, it's, that's going to bring up a first and goal or about the six and a half yard line. But <clears throat> yeah, you're right, Aaron. He's calling his number. First down. You know, run, run, run pass option. So he's looking downfield. He's reading the defense. He's thinking to himself, am I going to get more yards passing the ball or running the ball? He makes a decision right there. And that's a lot of faith and trust that the, the coach puts in that quarterback. And uh, that just goes to show you the development, the maturity of him uh, into his junior year. Absolutely. Yeah, every time you run it, you know, we say this a lot, though, but every time you have the option for an RPO, though, in most chances you're going to want to run the ball, though. Of course. <laughs> It's just, it's, you know, it's kind of nature there. But uh, sure. nevertheless, we got a second down. Took a little loss on that one to about the nine-yard line. Good job by the Eagle defense to push the Hawks back. But, Aaron, I have to say this. If, uh, if they don't come up with a turnover or some kind of stop, it, it may be uh, coming down to uh, being over already. All right, 9.55 left to go in the game right now. And uh, keeper, this is going to be Sanchez. He was a workhorse in the first half. And look at him still on his feet. That's touchdown, Hawks. Aaron, I thought he was down at yeah. about the five-yard line. That's why I didn't say anything. And I was just kind of like, all right. I was waiting for you to say something. And then we see him run into the end zone. I was like, wow, what happened there? He, uh, he disappeared and reappeared on the other end of that pile. If you're watching, you need to watch that replay at home, ladies and gentlemen, because that was pretty that was pretty awesome now. So right now we got a 28-7, to 7, trying to make it 29. Or it depends what they run here, Aaron, because uh, mm -hmm. that swinging eight option. But if you look at Browns Hanna, though, they have moved more defenders over in front of the center. Yeah. You know, when you saw them run it the very first time, they only had one on one matchup. And so Anaya figured he could do it. He didn't. Uh, but now Hannah's gotten smart about that. It's kind of old school. I haven't seen that swing game in <laughs> several years. Kick is up. And it is good. And with that, we're going to go 29 7, and we'll be right back after these commercials. And we're back. Here we go. Kickoff times. South Hawks kicking off to the Brownsville Hannah Eagles. 9.46 remaining in the ball game. 29-7 is your score here from Bogus Stadium. Uh, and, you know, we're calling it close here to begin the second half, and the Hawks are starting to get some separation. Yeah, absolutely, Aaron. It was, uh, you know, 15-7 to at halftime, and now they're up 29-7. But here we go with the kickoff. And that's a live ball. That's a live right ball. And that'll be a penalty. Number eight was doing a really good job of protecting that football because that was live, y'all. And, uh, you know, Harlingen South could have jumped on that and been Harlingen South ball just well, if, it didn't, if it didn't go out of bounds there, that could have been a very bad mistake. Mm -hmm. They would have bet the ball at about the two-and-a-half-yard line. So a uh, good bounce for the Hannah Eagles on that one. It was able to get that penalty bit, Aaron. But, Aaron, right now, what are you thinking right now? 29-7. to 7. Does Hannah still have a chance? Can they do something? Or are they going to just try to, you know, try to work out some, some plays and see what works. I just think it's going to be really hard for Hannah, you know, because really the success that we've seen them was in the first half, you know, we've seen them have is in the first half. And really that a lot of that had to do with running the football and, you know, haven't seen anything downfield for them. And so if you don't have a passing attack and you're down this much right now, it just makes it so much more difficult to get in the game. Not saying it's impossible. I didn't say impossible. I said more difficult, by the way. Absolutely. So, but, uh, you know, they really need to look and find a, a, a passing game. They're going to really have a chance, you know, down the stretch here. Tackle on the back, but that's Gilbert Ledma again. Uh, that about's all over the field. He's been all over the field. <clears throat> and that was, uh, uh, I believe that was number 15 again, uh, Mario Garcia, which has been running the ball the majority of the time, the workload, the workhorse, should I say. But, Aaron, uh, is it really time to run the ball or maybe to try to throw something downfield, though? Uh, because when you run the ball, mm -hmm. time's ticking. 
Yeah, I, I mean, I agree with you. You know, I as a football fan, period, I would love to see air it out. You know, see what happens, kind of throw it out there. You know, but I just think the confidence isn't there. You know, and I think then you worried about interceptions, you're worried about turning the ball over and giving South yet another chance. But there's a nice little play right there. A little hit came in a little late there, but they're going to let that one go, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like they're going to let it go. That's going to be a long third down. Uh, so they did throw the ball here, but let's see what it would have been about a four or five yard uh, gain. And uh, that's going to still be a long third down with about 12 yards to go with 902 left to play in the fourth quarter with a 29 to 7 uh, score. So I think Aaron right now, um, Hannah, Maybe they try to take a shot downfield, or uh, because it looks like South is kind of dominating on that. They're, they're starting to stop that run pretty good now. All right, let's see what Hannah has here. Sophomore quarterback, remember. So this is a young season for him. He's going to keep this one doing a great job. First down for the Hannah Eagles. How about that? Oh, that was a good run by Ruiz. It took a real looper on the right hand side and uh, saw some room and able to take it. Uh, and uh, got the first down, Aaron. So, hey, they keep the drive alive with 8.45 left to play in the fourth quarter. You're down three touchdowns, right, and with a two-point conversion. And so, you know, any kind of gamer would say, hey, we can we can still do something here, try to get back in this ball game. We're going to take a miracle, but, you know, you don't quit. <laughs> you don't stop trying to, trying to make that miracle happen. And I think, you know, Browns will Hannah uh, kind of showing that right there on that gutsy run by their quarterback. All right, here we go. Keeper again, left hand side this time, and gain of four. Yeah, or maybe they're just trying to get some momentum, trying to you know carry some positive, uh, getting the, maybe try to put a score down, even if it takes them three, four minutes, because it looks like right now they're really not trying to go downfield right now. Mm -hmm. But maybe they're just trying to work on some plays and trying to get ready um, and get something positive. And and the game, I guess, was a positive note. What I'm trying to say. All right, second down and about seven to go for the Hannah Eagles. All right, get ready, camera three, and follow the football. Go. Hand off, left hand side. Tackle there by number four of the South Hawks. Gain of one. Yeah, that was James Navarrete, number four. Uh, again, they're running a. Uh, 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 Garcia on there, and it's going to bring a third down. It's going to be about third and seven. Uh, maybe this is a time for a little trick play, a little trickery or something. But you got uh, a trick in the bag, go for it right now. <laughs> yeah, why not? why not? I mean, you're down 21, 29 to seven. There's seven minutes left to play in the game. Uh, South is not going to stop. They're playing hard defense, and their offense is going to get on the field. They're going to try to score again. So let's try to make something happen. Do you have three receivers up top? They're going to pull their guard and tackle and put their running back right behind those big guys. And uh, he'll gain about four yards on the play, but nothing fancy. Just kind of old school, basic uh, type running right there. And they're going to go for it there. I mean, that, there's no reason to punt. It's a fourth and two. And uh, they, they've had success on the run, Aaron. So I'm thinking, hey, why not run the ball? If, uh, if they get a turnover on downs, you know, South is just going to start running the ball and try to probably kill some clock. But I, I like the call. Uh, why not? What do you got to lose? Sure. All right, fourth down and short coming up for the Hannah Eagles. You're going to go with pistol formation, meaning there's a running back behind the quarterback. Number 17 has been the signal caller. Ramiro Ruiz the third. Breaks it out. Out to the 45. I think that's enough for a first down. Yeah, he's going to get uh, – it's going to be about a yard over, but he – good play. Moves the chains. Stops the clock. Reset time, you know, Hannah, I like the call. They're not giving up. They want to, right. you know, they want to continue. They want to try to get something going here. Maybe possibly, you know, Aaron, you score, get an onside kick, anything can happen nowadays. Well, sure. And, and <laughs> excitement, right? And, and, you know, in the grand scheme of things, when you look back at this, I mean, early season game, a lot of things are still being learned, right? But uh, you always want to look back and say, man, we gave our best shot. And, and if we do lose, we want to go down fighting. Yeah, exactly. Like that's what's going on. So I like that. Hats off to Hannah, but like you said, anything can happen. It's not over yet, but Gilbert Ledma has something to say about that right now. He's in the backfield again. Uh, we've called his name a lot, Gilbert Ledma, right there, and it was on Ruiz. That's going to be about a two, three-yard loss. Uh, yeah, about maybe four yards. Uh, get him down for the sack on that one. Uh, he's been everywhere. Um, he's, their, he's their stud on defense. Uh, defense runs through him, so he's done a great job tonight. All right, here we go. All right, 
You know, no, no real rush to stop the clock, by the way. You know, Eagles have all three of their timeouts. Um, kind of just letting this game progress here. But I like this. Taking a shot downfield, in and out of the hands of number 21, Jason Broussard. Yeah. And that, that would have been a good gain. That would have gotten them the ball. The third and six, third and seven. Unfortunately, it didn't happen on there. So, Aaron, what do you do here? You would take another shot downfield because now you need about 14 yards. It's not going to happen more than likely on a run. <clears throat> Third down coming up for the Hannah Eagles. And, you know, like I said, I mean, really not at a big rush to really, I think this is kind of a learning experience here for the rest of the game and trying to, you know, milk it as much as possible, get some some game time experience. But um, who knows? Maybe pull something out of the hat like we talked about and, and make something happen. Third down and 14, 526 remaining in the ball game. 29-7 is your score. South Hawks ahead. Now we get a timeout from the Hannah Eagles. And with that, we will go to commercial break. Third down coming up now for the Hannock Eagles inside Hawk territory. And they get free to jump offline. Yeah, got a free play here. It goes downfield. Why not? Mike Eagles out is tracking that one in and out of his hands. Would be interception incomplete. Yeah, I, I, you got to take that shot. It was a free play. That was going to be the offsides on the defense, Aaron. Great call. Just throw it out there and see if anything can happen. But the other thing is it's going to bring out a third a little bit more manageable, third and 14 to third and nine. So uh, let's see if they can. But that was actually a great throw, though. He actually threw the uh, shoulder that he has an arm in there. I think just, you know, young, young in the season, sophomore quarterback. You know, I think he's going to be a great athlete, by the way, moving forward. And, uh, you know, he's going to get a lot of take his lumps this year, if you will. But uh, I do think that, you know, having young, a sophomore quarterback, he's got good size in the field, presence. Uh, he can obviously run the ball. He's going to be someone to watch for here in the next couple of years, for sure. Absolutely. You go, nice little pitch and catch out there outside. Great move there by number 15, spinning down. That's Mario Garcia. Uh, it's going to be a manageable fourth down. It's going to be about a fourth and four, maybe five. <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm sure, I mean, you, you know, they got to go for it with five minutes left to play in the fourth quarter. Uh, Aaron, uh, right now, South defense is still playing. They're playing very aggressive. And the Hen Eagles, uh, you know, I know they let a lot of time go off, but I think they're just trying to get some positive things going into, you know, get some positive plays for their offense. All right, fourth down. Hannah going for it here. Cover one on that defense, one safety up top. And so they're just going to put pressure, right? And with that timeout, we'll go to a commercial break. Be right back for a fourth down.
Fourth down play coming up for the Hanna Eagles. Hawks showing blitz. Another free play, Joe, as they come across the line of scrimmage, and that'll be that should be short. enough for a first down, right. though. We may have a late hit on the on the sideline too. So absolutely, in you know, benefit the Hanna Eagles for sure. Yeah. See what the call is, but for sure we got an offside, so yes. that's going to give them a very close or right at the first down marker. Mm -hmm. But uh, and then there was another flag at the end of the game there, so let's see what happens. All right, White Caps walking onto the field. Do have a couple of flags on that end? And I, I tell you what, you know, uh, well, before I say that, I, I we'll wait to see what the, the White Cap says, but. Definitely a little bit late flag coming in there. That's usually around the area of unsportsmanlike conduct, personal foul. But we do know for sure, for sure, that someone jumped across that line of scrimmage. And so Hannah should ha have a first down, I believe, at the end of this regardless. Yeah. All right, here and we go. It's going to keep the drive alive. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. It's just been one of those games where it's like South, I feel, has had a lot of opportunities to put the game away, right, and just kind of seal it and, and – uh, but yet they just kind of fall short of that, yet they are continually growing their, their gap, right? And so here goes the white cap, both on the defense. Decline offsides and unsportsmanlike. And, and that's what I was gonna say, right? South, I think that's like the third unsportsmanlike conduct, fourth maybe even. Yeah, I think he said it was number 30. Yeah, well. Something. Either way, right? And so uh, he's been disqualified. But, you know, if you're south, you've got to clean that stuff up because um, 38, 38, I think, right? 38 was no, the young man who, who was targeting on that. And you have to clean that up because, you know, the season gets long if you're going to have those undisciplined type penalties. So a lot of late hits going on today. First down. Gain downfield. Look at that run. There's going to be a Oh, that's going to be a holding, yeah. That's coming back, Joe. Yeah, that looks like it's going to be a hold. But, Aaron, yeah, you're right. Going back to what you were saying is that you're going to go into district play, mm -hmm. you know, and you're back to 0-0. Zero, zero. Right. doesn't right. matter what happens here. But uh, you've got to get those things cleaned up because when you go into district play, uh, that can make the difference of a win or lo loss and, and when, you, when you start getting the tighter games. And, uh, you know, we all know that uh, – you know, it, 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 the district games make a difference, and, you know, you could be second or third place and make some difference between you getting a home game or not. But either way, got to get cleaned it up. I'll tell you what, that was number two on that carry, and it just caught my eye how fast he was and how he cut through that defense. That's Christian Espinosa. Very elusive, though, very yeah, fast. And we haven't really called him tonight. Um, and I don't know, he, he, got the, he got his number called right there. And I'm, I'm like, you need to give, give him the ball more. Because <laughs> he, he just looked the part on, the, on that call, by the way. So it got called back, obviously, but he could run the ball. Yeah, th this was a quarterback keeper. Well, I, I don't think it meant to be a keeper. I think he was actually looking downfield to take a strike. But uh, the Hawk defense got there pretty quickly and able to uh, flush him out for maybe about a one-yard gain. All right, second down now coming up for Hannah Eagles. You know, Hannah's got some bright spots that they can look at moving forward and, and absolutely you know, kind of maybe maybe that combination of running backs. Um, obviously, quarterback can run a little bit, but uh, go back and find those bright spots and you know take it into district with you. But second down either way, 340. Uh, Hannah does have two timeouts they haven't gone to just yet. Look at this one downfield. Beautiful looking pass, by the way. Just overthrown his receiver, but that looked pretty. Yeah, that was. It, it, I, I thought it was uh, uh, number one, Ruiz, I believe it was. Ruiz and Ruiz again. Uh, I think that was a great play. Good catch. But uh, we're starting to see some of the throws in there, and it looks like, you know, he, at uh, Ruiz over here, the quarterback, number 17, Aaron. He does have a pretty good arm. He does. And that was a really nice touch on that pass as well. Um, just, to, you know, sailed just a little bit past him. But, again, you know, you got to go back and find the good things in, in, in all this and, and, you know, figure out what you want to move forward with. But, you know, Hannah, you were just talking about that had a deep run in the playoffs just a couple years ago, and I know they want to get back to that form. Uh, it may not be this year, but, you know, they have something to build on. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, that was a big year a couple years ago, and I think they played Brandeis, and I watched that, you know, streaming, and 
you know, it was a really close game, too. That would have catapulted them into the fourth round, I believe. And, uh, you know, they're not too far removed from that, but lost a lot of senior leadership, obviously, in their rebuilding. Um, you know, but either way, you know, they have that tradition there if they want to get back to it. Yeah, I remember that game. It was, yeah, but they lost by a pointer. So, mm-hmm. you know, tradition, roots, everything, you know, and maybe, and then, you know, looking at these guys, they have a lot of young talent on yes. there. And, uh, you know, uh, maybe they get better through the, the, the rest of the year and, and, and make a shot at the playoffs. Uh, almost every skill position, look at that nice power. Oh, that was number two, by the way. Christian has been also wide open. Yeah. Gets a big hit there by Mikey Gonzalez. Yeah, that was a big hit on there. That's going to be a turnover on downs. But, you know, as I was looking at those skill positions, a lot of these guys are sophomores and juniors, you know, except for number 21, Broussard. Uh, and so, again, th- this is probably a rebuilding year for Hannah. But, you know, you got one and one. Depending on what happens here, you still got to win in the preseason. You know, you can still have a shot at, at playoffs, you know, come, come this year and then build on this year for next year. Oh, absolutely. That's exactly what I was thinking. Uh, there's, I mean, no shame that they, they, they defense has played. They've had a couple of unfortunate breaks. Uh, offense looked good at times. They've got a little bit of flashing here and there. Mistakes killed them right there. Some holding pal- penalties, but yeah, you live and you learn from that. All right, here we go. First and ten now for the South Hawks. Man in motion. Got a different quarterback in there. Fumble. He'll fumble it right away, and that's gonna be Hannah Eagle football. Here we go again, Aaron. They not, they don't, they're not quitting. <laughs> We're going to go to commercial break. We'll be right back with Hannah <laughs> Eagles. And again, we talk about that, right? South having the opportunity several times tonight to really kind of ice the game, put it away, and uh, just haven't been able to capitalize. Little penalties here, mistakes, and that time a fumble. Yeah, Aaron, there's been some, some key plays, some fumbles, some special team error. Uh, defense has played well, you know. Uh, the offense has made a few mistakes on there, but it's something that they can correct with. The important thing right now that they're going to come in with a W. Mm-hmm. Uh, but still got sure. some, some things to work on, especially a lot of the unsportsmanlike conduct and and uh, stuff like that, you know, to you know, clean it up a little bit. I do know Coach Gonzalez will probably address that first thing tomorrow morning and uh, deal with that. And, and as, uh, you know, they like to run a disciplined squad. And to me, got to clean up those unsportsmanlike conduct. I think there was uh, another penalty here. And it's going to go against the South Hawks again. Yeah, I think that... <laughs> Well, that so, was a 15-yarder, Aaron. I didn't hear the ref, so it was either unsportsmanlike conduct or a personal foul. Again, what we were just talking about. All right. All right, so Hannah's got a chance here to put another one on the board. Uh, they're within the 10-yard line, so first and goal. Hand off right side, tackled in the backfield. That was a run by Mario Garcia, number 15 for the Hannah Eagles. Uh, trying to make it up. There's 2.14 left to play in this game. And Hannah just wants to go down, swinging, you know, uh, possibly get uh, another touchdown. And I, don't, I think they won't settle for a field goal. And I think they're going to, whatever happens, they're going to go four plays and try to punch it in. There you go, Hannah Eagles. Want another score. And they make it happen. We do have some extra players in there for South. And they're nice little pump fake. He dumps it off there down to the three yard line. Yeah, I was able to get a. It was trying to pull those guys in. They kind of tried to dump it in and make it easier for him. Uh, so, but it, it still kind of worked though because they were able to get it down inside the five to about the four yard line. And now you got a third down with a minute 22 left to play. And uh, I don't really want to punch this in before sure. they go. I mean, you walk out of here and you look 29-14, right? And like, wow, that's a close game. And, you know, it hasn't felt like a close game, but it kind of is. It's just been an odd kind of game this evening. And I guess that because South, I, I think, had opportunities to maybe have had a couple more touchdowns. Absolutely. And, and so hats off to Hannah, by the way. And I think one of the things that Hannah has to work on is her snap 
their their center has uh, there. Uh, I've seen it at least ten times where Ruiz's have to go up and get the ball, and that just slows the momentum down for the running back who has to wait now. That you know, maybe only a second, but that second is the right. difference between gaining or losing yards. Uh, and that's exactly what happened here. But this is it, Aaron. Fourth down. Mm -hmm. See what kind of play they got. I'm sure they're going to call a timeout and try to come up with the right play. All right. All right. With that timeout, we'll be right back after this commercial break. Fourth down and goal for the Hannah Eagles. Desperately want to punch one more in before the end of the game. Here we go. What will they do? Fake, run it, try to get the defense to jump on the snap. Here we go. Keeper, right hand side, wants to pass RPO, and I think it is good. Touchdown, Eagles. He was wide open there, wow. and he ended up hitting it very low. It could have been an incomplete yes. pass, but nonetheless, a good call. Gets Hannah up in the board. Uh, they're going to make it, uh, try to get the extra point, or possibly maybe go for two, or 31 seconds left to play in this game. Some positive yards, some positive input, Aaron, that we talked about. Them, you know, carrying some momentum maybe for next week there. Sure, and number 21, Jacob Broussard on that one. I did talk about he's a lone senior in that kind of, uh, you know, position uh, group, you know, in the backfield, and he gets one, and like you said, he was wide open, just really almost under through him and almost missed a big opportunity. But regardless, here we are for the extra point. It would make it 14-29 if it is good. Good snap. They're going to blow this one dead before they even start. Yeah, I think that's going to go... I mean, is Hannah thinking about maybe just trying a two-point conversion just, you know, just for the challenge of it? Who knows? We're going to go to commercial break, and we'll find out when we get back. <laughs> Here we go. Extra point attempt now for the Hannah Eagles. Took a timeout. And why? To call a fake. Check this out. He's going to throw it in the end zone. In and out of the hands. That would have been so good. But it's incomplete. No touch. And with that, we'll go to another commercial break. <laughs>
kickoff time here for Anna. Question I have, will it be an onside joke? We'll find out here in a moment. I think you would. Let's see. Now they're going to go ahead and script this one down. This one will be returned. Check this out. Number 15, crowd favorite Ethan Hernandez gets the carry. <laughs> yeah. Remember him from last year. Try to do a little juke move there, Aaron, and uh, try to get some yards on there. Uh, we got another penalty marker. That's going to go against Bronzo Hannah. And uh, some late extracurricular as well. All right, it's really good on both sides tonight. I and mean, both teams have the microphones on there. <laughs> the official. So this time, then, this first one, like, we'll go against Brownsville Hannah. And number four, they said, and mm -hmm. he's out there going, well, I, I didn't do anything, coach. Well, and, you know, it's even, and I'm not saying this would happen, but it's what's said also in the field, right? Not only what's done, and officials have to kind of try to keep that in check as well. But either way, one of those things checked off the boxes and unsportsmanlike conducts on the Hannah Eagles and uh, South Hawks. A chance to kind of finally ice the game, right? I feel like they've had so many opportunities tonight to kind of just end it. And uh, here they are, 29-13. Still commanding lead, obviously. But victory formation now for the Hawks. And that's going to do it, Aaron. That's going to be the last play, I believe, here. South Hawks come up with a victory, 29 to 13, over the Brownsville Hannah Eagles. All right, so here we go. End of game. Now we're going to transition over and have a little post game here, Joe, and you know, kind of talk about you know what we saw tonight and and what are some things moving forward that you know each of the East teams can focus on. Let's start first off with uh, Brownsville Hannah. Well, you know, one of the things that I think that they could do. I mean, the running game was there at times. Um, Granted, we talked about this, Aaron, and Reese being a sophomore quarterback, number 17, showed some light, showed some potential, uh, has an arm, so it has a little bit of some legs, too, so they've got a lot to work on with him, and he's, I know he's young, but mm -hmm. the defense played well, I think the running game was good, and uh, they, they've got some things to look forward to and, and get a little better on this game here. All right, now the South Talks, right, of course, they dropped Bird Bowl, dropped against Westico, come and get a pretty important win here uh, tonight against Brunson Hanna to kind of reverse that losing trend. Uh, what can they take forward into next week? Well, you know, the running game was there. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it opened up, and it opened up some things for the for the South Hawks. But also, you know, let's talk about that defense. Really played very well. Uh, was able, they allowed, you know, if you look at the scoreboard, you know, they had down 13 points. But, you know, they were granted there were a, a special teams uh, error that got them down to about the three or four yard line. Nonetheless, though, the defense played extremely well. Offense, I mean, Aaron, I, all I can say is they got a lot of weapons out there, and they've got like Dylan Sanchez, Edwards, and uh, and Kirksey. Uh, they've got some weapons on there, and I think what what uh, Coach Gonzalez is saying is, how do I use them all? Right, right. And that's a tough thing to do, but they've got a lot of weapons. They've got a lot of running back power, so uh, they can you know get the running game, which they have it going. Maybe open up some pass. They, uh, they could they could definitely be a team to team to watch. Okay, well, that's uh, going to wrap it up for us here at Bogus Stadium tonight. And uh, I do want to say the player of the game for Real Sports Live is going to go to Dylan Anaya, quarterback for Harlan South. And uh, just did a great job of feeding that football over the field tonight. Hey, Joe and Aaron here in the box, Real Sports Live. It's been a pleasure. Uh,